Magandang hapon mga igan, ikatatlong po tatlong araw na ng impeachment trial ni Chief Justice Renato Corona. Ako naman, Anod Glavio. Samahan niyo po kami sa special coverage ng GMA News TV. Ako po si Vicky Morales at ito ang The Chief Justice on Trial. Patuloy tayong magbabantay pa rin sa mga pinakamainit na pangyayari dyan po sa Senado. At mag-uulat mula roon ang ating kasamang si Joseph Morong. At para mo po sa malalim ang pagtingin sa proseso ng impeachment trial ni Chief Justice Corona, Baka kasama natin muli si Dean Antonio Lavinia ng Ateneo School of Government. Magandang hapon po, Dean, at welcome back. Magandang hapon. Glad Ap to be here again. Thank Siyempre you. po. Puntaan mo po natin si Joseph Morong sa Senado. Joseph, okay. mukhang nakita ko na si <laughs> Justice Cuevas. Ayan. Oo nga, nakabalik na itong si uh, Lead Defense Counsel Justice Serafin Cuevas. No? Pero bago yan, Igan, may mga magbabalik din ng mga mm. testigo. No? At least dalawa itong si Attorney Yulalio Diaz, Administrator mm -hmm. ng Land Registration Authority. Uh, humihingi kasi itong si Senator Loren Legarda kahapon ng listahan ng mga ari-arian mismo nitong si Chief Justice Corona na nasa record ng LRA. Bukod dyan, ay babalik ang ating single na witness na si uh, Carmina Cruz. Siya yung Customer Service Relations Head ng Alveo Land Corporation. Sa kanya naman ay... Uh, Tatanungin ng mga senador kung kailan ba talaga nakuha ni uh, Mrs. Corona yung susi kasi kahapon sa testimonya niya, ang sabi lamang niya is that from the records ay uh, deemed accepted yung columns unit noong 2008, latter part of 2008. Pero tinatanong ng mga senador kung kailan ba talaga na i-turn over yung uh, unit. No? At uh, yung lista ng mga witnesses nila, kung matapos yung dalawa na yan, may mga official galing sa Manila City Government tungkol dun sa expropriation ng lupa ng Gidote, Basa Gidote Enterprises. Tapos meron din sheriff and clerk of court ng QCRTC para din dun sa ownership naman noong Basa Gidote Enterprises. Samantala, matabang naman ang, senado, amang, ang Senado no, sa paglalabas ng uh, sabina para doon sa Executive Director ng Philippine Center for Investigative Journalism na si Malu mga has at kanyang mga opisyal. Uh, gusto kasi ng depensa sana no, na ipakita yung iba't ibang sali and then ang ibang mga government officials para ipakita na yung uh, hindi paglalagay nitong si Chief Justice Corona ng acquisition cost ng, isa, ng ilan ng kanyang mga ari-arian ay hindi na bago at ginagawa rin ng ibang opisyal ng gobyerno. Pero sabi ni Senate Presiding Officer Juan Ponce Enrile, ay eh well, ang nasa trial ay si Chief Justice Corona at hindi yung mga ibang opisyal ng ating gobyerno. Samantala, ay, uh, si Justice Cuevas ay nakabalik na, nagkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon na makausap siya no? kasi two days siyang absent um, uh, yesterday and the day before yesterday kasi may vertigo pero mukhang medyo mahina pa itong si, uh, Chief, uh, si uh, Justice Cuevas at medyo nahihilo pa rin daw siya. Pero siya pa rin yung mamumuno ng... Uh, Medyo nakikipagbiro na siya ngayon. Pero ang sabi niya ay uh, he will see daw how far he can go doon sa trial ngayong araw nito. Na nito ang kanyang payag. Hey, how are you doing? Ah, hindi pa ganyan pa eh. Na hilo pa kayo siya. Okay. Dito na lang. Ano pwede? Dito, dito, dito. Dito pa ako. Sir, pero para hindi kayo po yung magkano? Uh, Lilidon? Of course. Siguro. How far I can go with my present condition. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Igan, last two days na tayo ng ating impeachment trial no? bago mag-break yung sen ang Senado para sa kanilang Holy Week break at ang babalik sila ng May 7 at ang sabi ni uh, SP Enrile ay uh, before magsinide adjournment yung Senate, yung Congress, ay they can have a decision by June. Uh, Igan. Joseph, mukhang hmm. nagpupulong ata ang prosekusyon at depensa no, tungkol sa listahan ng mga ari-arian kung 45, kung 21. Diba, ano ba talaga yung ano, numero nito? Uh, tapos na ba yan, Joseph? Uh, kaninang umaga yan. No? Pero kahapon yung kausap natin si Representative uh, Neil Tupas, no, itong lead prosecutor, talaga maninindigan sila dun sa 21. Although, mm -hmm. uh, kahit naman siya ay inaamin niya na yung 21 na yon includes yung mga properties itong si uh, Demetrio Vicente. No? Itong properties yan sa Marikina. And then yung sa mga anak ni uh, Chief Justice Corona, si Charina and si Carla. Kasi ang theory ng prosecution is that yung tatlong tao na yan ay uh, ginagawang dummies. No? At yung mga sale or yung pagtatransfer ng mga lupain ay simulated or uh, kunyari, parang balabala lang o kunyari lamang. Tapos ang sabi naman ng defense kahapon is that ang papanindigan nila ay uh, lima lamang na mga properties. No? Ang sabi nitong si Attorney uh, Mones Guerra is that yung mga nakadeclare na mga properties doon sa Salen na ni Chief Justice Corona ay yung mga sumusunod. Itong Bellagio, mm -hmm. Bonifacio Ridge, Burgundy, ito yung sa Katipunan, yung Column sa Makati, at Saverville. Pero titingnan natin kung ano magiging uh, pag-appreciate 
ng mga senador dyan, no kasi parang ang aligasyon sa Article 2 is uh, una is yung uh, non-disclosure sa pag, uh, hindi pagsasapubliko ng kanyang salin and yung 2.3 which is under the title of Article 2 ay yung uh, pagtatago ng ilang mga ari-arian. So ganun yung uh, titingnan ng mga senador kung may uh, pagkakasala ba itong si Chief Justice na hindi niya pagdadeklara at pagtatago ng ilang mga properties. Uh, uh, Vicky. So Joseph, pinaninindigan ng prosekusyon na 21 ang properties. Ang depensa mm -hmm. naman, 5. So five. 21 versus 5. So That's makakaalaman right. tayo ngayon. Uh, Joseph, any word kung uh, paupoy nila si Mrs. Corona anytime soon? Nung dati, no, ang, uh, ang initial kasi is that uh, para daw maipaliwanag yung mga entries nitong si Chief Justice Corona, mm -hmm. eh si Mrs. ang papalabasin kasi siya yung uh, gumagawa daw ng salen. Siya ang fill out ng oh, salen yung, form. That's correct. Ah. At siya rin yung pwedeng makapagkwento tungkol dun sa nangyari dun sa Basagidote Enterprises. Bakit importante yung Basagidote Enterprises? Kasi mm -hmm. doon sa salen niya, I think in 2003, sinabi nila na umutang sila ng 11 million. Mm -hmm. At yung inutang na 11 million, according to the defense, ay ipinambili nila ng mga ilang ari-arian. Pero ang sinasabi ng prosecution, Teka, bakit? Hindi yan personal na pera. Mm -hmm. Yan ay corporation money na dapat hindi nakalagay sa isang personal account tulad noong uh, account, bank account si si Chief Justice Corona. No? Uh, so, kanina, nakaline up na naman yung mga testigo for that aspect, yung sino ba yung may-ari ngayon ng Basagidote Enterprises. But going back to Mrs. Corona, mukhang medyo hindi natin siya makikita bago matapos itong uh, pagtinig, no? Mm -hmm. Kasi mukhang may apprehension na ng konti itong si uh, Mrs. Corona dahil uh, hindi siya daw sigurado kung paano siya itatrato sa loob ng uh, Senado, no? Pag to humarap siya for direct examination and of course, yung cross-examination and prosecution. Um, ang sabi ni Chief Justice, uh, ni Justice Cuevas is that they will have to lay first the predicate, no? Ang ibig sabihin nun is Gusto muna nilang ikwento doon sa Senate Impeachment Court na may pera itong si Chief Justice Corona para makabili ng ilang mga ari-arian niya. Okay. At uh, pagkatapos noon, ipapaliwanag kung bakit yung iba doon ay medyo na late or hindi nakalagay sa kanyang salin. Alright, sige. Maraming salamat sa iyo, Joseph Morong. Babalikan ka namin maya-maya lang, ha? At uh, recap muna tayo sa day 32 po ng impeachment trial kahapon. Sumala nga po bilang testigo ng depensa si Land Registration Authority Administrator Yulalio Diaz III. Sa kanya nakuha ng persecution panel ang lista ng 45 properties na pag-aari umano ni Chief Justice Renato Corona. Layon po ng depensa, napatunayang lima lang daw sa mga ito ang pag-aari mismo ng punong maestrado. Kahapon ay nilinaw ng prosekusyon na dalawampu't isang ari-arian lang ang isinama sa formal offer of evidence. Dahil dito, nag-isa ng ilang senador si uh, Diaz at maging silid prosecutor Representative Neil Tupas Jr. Sabi ni Senador Jingoy Estrada kay Diaz, dapat daw ay sinuri niyang maigi ang computer-generated search listing ng LRA dahil lumabas din sa ilang properties sa di pala pag-aari ni Chief Justice Corona. Para magka-Senador Joker Arroyo, tila nalinlang daw ang pro ng prosekusyon ang publiko bagay na itinanggi ng mga prosecutor congressman. Sa muli ng mga pagsalang ng property manager ng The Column sa Makati na si Ben Zlim, inusisa ni Senadora Miriam Defensor Santiago kung kailan na masasabing formal na pag-aari na ng mga corona ang kadilang condo unit. Iginit kasi ng depensa na noong 2009 lang na i-turn over sa kanila ang unit, kaya sa 2010 salin na idineklara ang naturang ari-arian. Pero ayon sa prosekusyon, pag-aari na ng mga corona ang unit mula nang ma-execute ang deed of sale noong 2004 Kaya dapat ay nakasaad na ito sa mga nauna na pang sell-in. Tumistig rin po ang Customer Relations Head ng uh, Alveo Land na si Carmina Cruz. Gayun din Executive Clerk of Court ng Quezon City RTC na si Perlita L. Simula na po muna natin ating talagay. Kasama po si Dean Lavinia at uh, kahapon siya rin yung uh, naka, nakatutok dito sa impeachment trial. So din ano yung kahapon, ano relevance po nung... Uh, pinagtatalo. Ang dami pa lang ngayong mga termino bigla naglitaw no. Yung acceptance kasi <laughs> tradition oh, 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 accept, din accept, din acceptance oh, oh. yung susi uh, eh, kasi 'di ba pag bumibili ka ng pre-selling actually kahit kahit uh, hindi pa siya established yung hindi pa siya konkreto naglabas ka na eh ng down payment so isinasama na to sa ITR mm. o sa LN eh. Hindi ho ba? Yeah. Yung, Nasa pangalan mo na rin yun eh. Yeah, so, kasi ang importante na may asset na involved. Oh, Maaring hindi pa yung pag-aari ng lupa at pag-aari ng bahay oh. pero may pera nang binigay. Mm -hmm. So, dapat na-declare na rin. Kaya paano na yes. nagbigay ako ng pera 
doon sa uh, kung kanino ko bumibili ng lupa. Diba? Diba? Asset oh, na yun eh. O oh, yun yung sinasabi nga uh, ni Senator Serge. Diba? Kaya ano lang, lang ang tanong, sila? saan dapat i-report yun? I-report uh -oh. ba yun bilang bahay? O report ba yun bilang pera o investment na binigay dun sa ano? Kaya, uh -huh. dun lang pinagtatalunan kung kailan ba dapat kasi in-report. Diba? Dahil, uh -huh. Uh, laging lumalabas sa uh, uh, column sa limbawa na 2010 na ni-report ni mm -hmm. ano no na 2009 pa yung nabili uh, nabili di ba so dapat ba ni-report yon sorry 2008 pa nabili uh -oh. di ba so dapat ba ni-report yun sa 2009 uh, dahil deem accepted na sa 2008 eh, di ba 2004 mm -hmm. ba yan That's 2010 niya ni-report. Di ni-report, diba? pero ibig sabihin, na unang taon niya na mga nabilit Parang may one year na, may, may one year na gap. Ang, ang kiniklaim nila ngayon na, kasi, yung paglipat, yung mm -hmm. delivery, nangyari na sa 2009. Uh, pero from the point of view, kaya yun ang ibig sabihin ng deemed acceptance, di ba? Mm -hmm. Or deemed accepted ng ano. Sa developer, developer, nung uh, tinanggap na yung susi, nung tinanggap na yung nagawa ng agdiriso, deem accepted na yun. Okay. Mm -hmm. For their purposes. Relevant pa ba itong kung kailan ba inaccept talaga yung unit when in fact, ang pinaka-importante dito ay eh, meron siyang 3.5 million na pera na na-convert lang sa bahay. Diyan ang sinasabi ni Sen. Enrile Kapon, yes. di ba? Na saan yung pera na yun? Mm -hmm. Saan mo ni-reflect? Kasi ano na naman yun? Pwede mo i-reflect as an asset okay. na physical uh -huh. O pwede mo i-reflect as a cash, di ba? Or, uh, yes. or investment, mm -hmm. yung gano'n. So, naka-reflect ba yun ng tama uh -huh. sa SAL-N noong 2009 na SAL-N? So, kailangan diba? patunayin na nandun sa SAL-N niya yun? Kailangan patunayin na nandun sa SAL-N. Uh -huh. Kaya lahat ito, magiging ano ito eh, yung ang, ang nakikita ko sa ginagawa ng defense, di ba? Yung bawat accusation na may hindi dineclare si Chief Justice na hindi niya dinisclose, Meron silang explanation. Okay. Meron silang sagot. Kasi ganito kasi yan, di ba? Mm -hmm. Kasi ganito. Pero in there, para din yung accounting, may debit at credit eh. Mm -hmm. Kung hindi pupunta sa credit, pupunta sa debit. Debit. Diba? So, titignan mo yung debit. Mm -hmm. Kaya sa tingin ko dito, sa in the end, titignan ng mga senador, yung pera, yung mm -hmm. cash, di ba? Mm -hmm. Actually, kanina rin, napag-usapan yung, di ba, yung sa LRA, nakarehistro yung ibang titulo. Mm -hmm. At sinasabi, wala na, naibenta na eh. Ang tanong ngayon ng prosecution, kung naibenta na, dapat naideklarin din yung pinagbentahan oh. yung kasi nagbayad sa iyo eh. Oh, oh yun yung yun, oh. yun, isa din sa dapat naka-reflect yun naka sa din. na oh. sinabi niya meron siyang ganitong amount of money, di ba? Mm -hmm. Bakit hindi niya sinabi 'yon? Mm -hmm. uh, o bakit parang hindi na disclose 'yon? Mm -hmm. Kaya isa sum up yun ngayon lahat, di ba? Kaya yun ang ginagawa ngayon ng 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 sa tingin ko ng defense eh, sa bawat ah uh, yung sinasabi kanina ngayon lang, nililay down nila yung predicate. Premi oh. mm -hmm. Yung predicate. predicate. For dala, sa, the, sa tingin ko ha, sa pag nililay down nila ng predicate, ang the only way na makonfirm yung kabuuhan, ma ma matahi yung buong kwento, ay sumismo si Chief Justice yung pupunta at sasabihin niya, ito kasi yan. Okay. Yan kasi yan. Mm -hmm. Yung pera na yan, dito yan galing. Pero, yung, kailangan niyang gawin yeah. yun. Kasi wala namang ibang makakagawa nun. Sige si Mrs. Corona, pero... Sa tingin ko, dapat si Chief Justice mismo. Like, okay. Binawi tinatanong. ko lang muna, Vicky, yung nakikita ang video, baka lang mm. nasa Senado si Chief Justice. Mm. PICC po yun at uh, pangungunahan po nila na ilang maestrado itong panunumpa ng mga pumasa ah, sa bar yung, ano, ngayon sa PICC. At magkakatabi nga si Chief Justice Coron, nakita ko rin si Justice Antonio Carpio at yung pa mga, mga maestrado na niya po sa PICC. Congratulations sa mga estudyante oh. ko. Kasi pag tinignan mo agad, oh, uh, oh, 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 din pag tinignan mo, parang pareho sila ng ano eh, suot nung oh. Senator Judd sa kayo oh, nga, oh, nga. <laughs> maestrado. Ayan, live po yan sa PA, oh. PICC. Ano yan, Congratulations. Yung, yung, bar, yung, ano, yung admission to the bar is a... Is a end bank session. Oh, It's an official bank. session of oh, the court. Kaya kompleto dapat yung nabili mo lahat yan. ng mga damit. Ng, oh. Wow, this is, very, this is a very interesting time for them. Dahil oh, parang meron silang free lectures. Siguradong ma may makakarinig Trevas, na naman tayo kay Chief Justice ngayon ng tukul ah, sa may, impeachment. May speech ba dyan? Ah, yeah, yeah, ah, speech okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Yung, ano, meron oh. niyang exhortation. Bago siya mag-volunteer. Yun ang speech niya dati, di ba? Yun yung day na lumabas. Yung sabi niya sa mga... Uh, pumasana. Pwede, baka pwede kayo mag-volunteer mag <laughs> sa defense panel natin. Okay, teka. Y yung kanina nabanggit ni Joseph po yung sa parig ng mga media, may naiimbitahan itong maging testigo din sa impeachment court. Pero kanina umaga, nireport nga ni Nimpa sa DC Double Bina, mm -hmm. hindi na ipapatawag itong si Malumang Ahas, kasama natin dito sa GMA News mm -hmm. TV, uh, hindi na siya isasabi na at uh, hindi na rin siya yung ikokompel ba dahil gusto ng depensa humarap ito dahil Si Maluhok, sa hindi pagkakaalam, bilang executive director ng PCIJ, taon.
taon-taon no, consistent silang nanunuri, binubusisi yung salen eh. Mm -hmm. uh, eh, hindi ko alam kung, uh, tama ho ba yung ganun? Tama yun. Uh -oh. Una sa tingin ko yung, yung, ano, no, yung newspaper, yung media person, mm -hmm. uh -oh. uh, dapat, di ba, yung kanyang role, yung kanyang papel, Labas, uh, 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 yung sa kanyang trabaho. Okay. So kung kayo, kung anong report niyo yun ang dapat titingnan. Mm -hmm. Tama na 'yon, 'di ba? Okay. Mm -hmm. Tama na yung uh, mga sinulat ni ni ni, ni Malu. Uh -oh. Pangalawa, yung mga kailangan nilang dokumento, pwede naman kunin yung kasi sa 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 opisyal na kunin mm -hmm. 'yon. Hindi naman kailangan galing na humarap kay, pa siya. Kay, kay Malu 'yon, mm -hmm. no? So, sa tingin ko tama yung desisyon na 'yon ng 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 ano ng impeachment court. Mm -hmm. At uh, balikan ho natin kanina yung pinag-uusapan natin, yung deed of sale. No? Sinabi kasi nung panahon ni Demetrio Vicente na, oh, wala na sa amin yung property dahil ito ang deed of sale na binenta na namin dito kay Demetrio hmm. Vicente. Pero ngayon, sinasabi naman, ay hindi, may deed of sale na nga, pero hindi pa namin accepted. So parang uh -oh. paiba-iba ata yung ginagamit na... na... Uh, oh kasi yun, uh, sa tingin ko, nililay down lang predicate na sa bawat property nga, meron silang explanation. explanation. And dahil iba yung circumstances ng bawat property, iba yung rule na na nag apply di ba? Di ba, sabi ni Senator, hindi na maganda eh. There's only one rule here. Isa mm -hmm. lang naman yung patakaran dapat nasundin dito. Katotohanan, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, yung technicalities nito in the end doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Ang tanong lang talaga, sino may ari ng lupa na yan at o sino may ari ng asset at report ba properly kung si Chief Justice nga yung may ari. Oh, That's yeah. sole question. Yun lang talaga yung kailangan kailangan tingnan natin. Okay. All right, Dean Lavinia, eto, nagsisimula na ho ang impeachment proceedings sa Senado. Panoorin po natin ito. With the reading of the March 20, 2012 Journal of the Senate sitting as an impeachment court and consider the same as approved. Is there any objection? There being none, the March 20, 2012 Journal of the Senate sitting as an impeachment court is hereby approved. The secretary will now please call the case. Case number 00220011 in the matter of impeachment. Mr. President, may we ask the respective councils to make their appearances or enter their appearances? Good afternoon, Mr. President and the honorable members of the Senate sitting in impeachment. Good afternoon. Same appearances for the prosecution. We are ready, Your Honors. Noted. For the defense. defense. For the defense, Your Honor, the same appearance. Welcome back, um, ready, Your Counsel. Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. I hope you have recovered from your uh, vertigo. I, I would like to be given at least one minute, Your Honor, to extend my apologies to the Honorable Court and to the members of the this Honorable Court, Your Honor, for apologies not being able... Apologies unnecessary. For not, Your Honor. Unnecessary. We, we realize that you... You, were, you had very, some problems. So. That have entered into my mind, Your Honor, but as part of the courtesy due to this court, Your Honor, I just want that to be made of record. Thank Your Honor. you. And so, uh, I assure this court that uh, there was nothing intensely due to the ailment suffered by, the under, by this representation, as in fact, I'm still wobbly, Your Honor. Sa pagkat, <coughs> mga, sa pagkat tao lamang tayo. Salamat po. Kagalang galang na pangulo. <coughs> Uh, Mr. President. Majority floor leader. Thank you, Mr. President, for the business for the day. We will uh, have the continuation of the examination of uh, witness uh, Carmina Cruz, invitation to inspect the facts found in other instances in which uh, it relates to the acceptance and turnover of the unit information related to the condominium corporation and Mrs. Corona's acceptance of the unit, if any. We'll so, just, we will just have her summoned, Your Honor, for only yeah, a minute. Bring the witness in and uh, uh, let her uh, take the witness stand under the same oath for cross examination. The first witness is uh, Carmina Cruz. Trial suspended for one minute to wait for Carmina.
O si Carmina uh, Cruz, yung marap na ito kahapon eh. Mm -hmm. o, tingnan natin kung anong pwede pa idadagdag nito at tinihintay na lang siya yung pag-arap siya nila muli ngayon. Dahil pag-uusapan pa rin yan yung, oh, yung, yung document na yeah, ano eh. Yung acceptance. Oh, mm -hmm. Kung kailan uli na naman yun. Kailan, oh. kasi di ba, sa kanila, deemed accepted na nung 2008. Oh. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi daw niya alam kung kailan tinanggap, tinanggap. yung actual acceptance. Ayan, so, ayan, na si, ayan na si Carmina Cruz ng Ayala. Under the same oath, the prosecution may now cross-examine the witness, Ms. Oh, Cruz. Your Honor, uh, if I may. Yes, uh, it was the pleasure of the gentleman from the defense. Thank you, Mr. President. May it please the court. We ended yesterday with a request to bring back Ms. Cruz because there were certain documents that she had not produced. Uh, we, so you, you, you want to I would like have to additional... I would like to complete my direct uh, examination. Additional direct question. A continuation of the direct action, yes. Your Honor. All yes. right. Proceed. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't think the prosecution uh, has any objection. We have no objection, Your All Honor. All right. Proceed. Uh, uh, and before I proceed, Your Honor, I wish also to... Uh, uh, publicly apologized to Ms. Cruz. There was an unfortunate article that appeared in the uh, Philippine Star uh, imputing some kind of relationship between myself and Ms. Cruz. And I want uh, to make it of record that I'm not in conformity with the publication and I would like uh, to give Ms. Cruz fair opportunity to deny. Uh, what the, is the, that relationship? It was uh, some item, Your Honor. Uh, I, I, I apologize. Uh, let's forget about those things. Anyway. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I will proceed. We are adults. So. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Cruz, yesterday I asked you to bring documents preceding uh, June, June 4, yes. 2008, yes. relating to the acceptance of Mrs. Corona. Yes. I am sorry, to the inspection of the unit of mm -hmm. Mrs. Corona. Yes. Do you have them with you? Yes, I have them with me. Could you be so kind as to show us the document? Oh, um, yes. Both councils may proceed to scrutinize the document and uh, agree that... Uh, <coughs> Agree, if you can agree. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, the witness is showing us a document on the letterhead of Community Innovations, which is the company that she works for, and it appears to be dated June 20th, 2006. Uh, I wish to uh, inform the court, as well as the prosecution, that we do not have a copy of the original as well. Show it to the prosecution, and if they, they have no uh, question about its authenticity, then uh, so be it. Let's stipulate, Your Honor, because uh, it's, a, it's a photocopy and the uh, signatory is not Ms. Uh, Cruz, Your Honor. At any rate, Ms. Cruz, can you please tell us where this document, uh, where did you get this document from? Um, uh, I got the document from the June 20, 2006 letter um, from our, our archives um, for all the copies of the notifications on acceptance for all the towers in columns. All right, Avenue. proceed. Do you confirm, therefore, that this letter was an official letter from your company or your representative to Mrs. Corona? Yes, I do confirm. Do you confirm, therefore, that the records of your company uh, uh, contain this letter? Yes, I do confirm. Do you confirm, therefore, that this is the first letter inviting Mrs. Corona to accept the unit, or inspect, I'm sorry, to inspect the unit? Yes, I do confirm that this is the first letter that we sent out. All right. Now, you will recall from, from uh, Your Honor, may we request that this be marked as Defense Exhibit Number Mark 220. Two zero. And that the date... June 20, 2006, be marked as Defense Exhibit 220A. That's another letter? The same letter, Your Honor, just the date. June? June 20, 2006. 
What I have here is June 4 June 2008. Yes, Your Honor. This document precisely precedes that uh, exhibit, and it was this letter now which was the basis for that letter that you are referring to, Mr. President. Are they identical in contents? No, Your Honor. The, f the exhibit that they we are linked. They are linked, Your All Honor. Right. Yes. Uh, what, you want to mark uh, that as an exhibit? Yes, I just did, Your Honor. What uh, number is it? Exhibit 220, Your All Honor. All right, mark it accordingly. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, can you please tell us, uh, uh, based on your uh, communications with Mrs. Corona, if you know, what happened after she received that letter of June uh, 20, 2006? Uh, based on our records, um, uh, we have a copy of... Uh, she was able to come to visit the site, the Columns Ayala Avenue, and then perform an inspection of the unit. And can you tell us if there is any documentation, any record regarding that in inspection? From the records we have found, um, there is a punch list. Would you be so kind as to explain to us what a punch list is? A punch list is a recording of items found in the unit when an inspection is done. Um, it's, it, it indicates things that need to be rectified, repaired, or cleaned up inside the unit. When you say things that need to be rectified, could this include defects, mistakes? Yes, that's possible. All right. Is there, was there such a punch list relating to the inspection of Mrs. Corona? Yes, there is a punch list. Do you have the punch that list? That is the inspection in 2006. That is right, Your Honor. Do you have that punch list with you? Yes, I have the form with me. Would you be so kind as to present it? May I invite the counsel for the prosecution to look at the letter? Your Honor, may we request that the punch list be marked as Exhibit 221 for the defense? Mark it accordingly. And that the uh, portion on the right-hand section referring to leaks, uh, repainting, and removing wall stains and sealant be marked as 221A, this, this whole subsection here. Why, why not just... Uh well, I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to, uh, but uh, the document shows all the defects that were uh, Very well, found, Your Honor. And uh, there's no point in uh, specifying them. Uh, anybody can read it. It's, it's quite uh, detailed, Your Honor, so all right. to bracket it would be easier all right. to find. Mar bracket them and mark them according. Thank you, Your Honor. Now... After that, then you wrote the letter of June 4, which you testified, uh, 2008, which you testified to. Um, uh, no, we sent out another letter. You sent out another yes. letter. Do you have that letter with you? Yes, I What's have it with me. What's the date of that letter? What is the, yes. The date, Your Honor, of this letter is October 17, 2006. It uh, is about the rectification, the completion of the rectification. May we know who sent this letter out? That was an uh, October letter. October 17, 2006. Oh, 2006. The yes. first letter in 2006 was what date? June 20, 2006, Your Honor. June, okay. Your Honor, uh, may we know who wrote this letter, uh, Ms. Cruz? Um, it was me. I wrote the letter for addressed to Christina Corona. For what purpose did you write the letter, Ms. Cruz? It was to, um, I, uh, sorry, to inform Mrs. Corona about the completion of the rectification of their unit. All right. Uh, may we request that this, this letter, dated uh, October 17, 2006, be marked as Defense Exhibit 222. Mark it accordingly. Did you receive a reply from Mrs. Corona following that letter? Nothing on record. Nothing that we can find regarding the response from Ms. Corona. Do you recall having uh, uh, that she replied to you in any way? 
Not that I can recall. And so after that letter, am I correct in stating that the next communication was your letter to her on June 4, 2008? Um, there was another letter in February 26, 2008. February 26. Do you have that letter with you? January yes. when? February, February 26. 26, 2008, Your Honor. Your Honor, if I'm not mistaken, this had been previously marked by the... February uh, 26? Yes, Your Honor. February 26, 2008. 2008. 2008. 2006. 8. Uh, 2008. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, may we know who wrote this letter, Ms. Cruz? It was also written by me. It, it came from me. Your Honor, I have here the original of that letter. And uh, may we request that the photocopy be marked as the exhibit for the defense and it be marked as exhibit number 223. Mark it accordingly. All right. Previously marked? Us? Previously. By us? Oh. All right. Then, then we withdraw the, the marking now. No? All right. Thank you. We are withdrawing the marking of... Yes, Your Honor, this letter, because it had been previously marked as exhibit number 48, according to the Secretariat. No, then state it into the record. Yes, Your Honor. This letter, previously marked as exhibit 48, was written by whom? By me, Your Honor. It was did, written by me. After this, did you receive a reply from Mrs. Corona? Um, not that I can recall of any reply, Your Honor. And the next communication was when? Between you and Mrs. Corona, if you recall. I, it follows already the June 2008 letter. The which we discussed in and this, marked what, yesterday. In this, what, is the, what does that letter of uh, February 19... February... Uh, to, to, 2008. 2008. Says. It, may I read, Your Honor? Please. Okay. For the information of the court. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, it was about... We have written as a notice... From based on the uh, October 17, 2006 letter regarding the final re-inspection of your unit, we would like to inform you that the unit has been deemed delivered and accepted as of February 28, 2008, pursuant to Section 7 of the contract to sell. All right. That was the main content of the letter, Your Honor. Thank you, Ms. Cruz. Now, after, after uh, your communication with uh, Mrs. Corona, uh, uh, in uh, September 2008, I asked you yesterday if you, conf if you conveyed to the Homeowners Association the information regarding the acceptance of Mrs. Corona. Did you convey this information in writing? I have no record of the actual con um, transparency Metal or any information given to the condominium corporation regarding the acceptance of the unit. Do you confirm that it is the practice of your corporation to inform the homeowners association of the acceptance? Yes, I do confirm that it is practiced that um, the, the developer informs the condominium corporation of the accepted units for the building. What records do you have, if any? that there is such information conveyed or such information kept by you, your corporation, which is conveyed to the homeowners corporation? I just have a copy of the monitoring that we do internally. Would you be so kind as to produce that for us? Um, yes. We are looking at a, a, an image, Your Honor. Ms. Cruz, what is this image we are looking at? Would you be so kind to explain? Um, it's an Excel file, uh, basically a tabulation of all the accepted units for all the towers in the Columns Ayala Avenue. This file exists in the computer? Yes, it I, is. I, were you the one who extracted the, this file from the computer? Yes, I was the one who extracted this file. Were you the one who caused the printing of this uh, image from the computer? Yes, for this specific file. Were yes. you the one who operated the computer? Yes, I was uh, the one who operated the computer. And you were the one who accessed the file? Yes, I was also the one who accessed the file. All right, Your Honor, may we request that this be marked as Defense Exhibit 223. Market according. Uh, 
I know. It's okay. Thank you. Now, uh, Ms. Cruz, would you be so kind to show me? Uh, I asked you whether you had proof of uh, or you had information regarding the acceptance by Mrs. Corona and whether that acceptance had been communicated to the condominium corporation. Mm -hmm. Can you please show me from this image where I might find that information? Um, there is a tabulation here that indicates the dates of deemed acceptance or an acceptance dates. Yes. Are you telling me that there are two entries? Yes. One is for? For the deemed acceptance and of the, the other and for the acceptance date. All right. Would mm -hmm. you be so kind as to read uh, what the document states on its face? Okay. For 31B, Christina Corona, for the acceptance date, it indicates August 12, 2009. The deemed acceptance date is June 7, 2008. And do you confirm that this information was relayed to the condominium corporation? Um, yes, I do confirm. All right. Now, yesterday, Ms. Cruz, thank you. Yesterday, Ms. Cruz, you informed me, or you informed the court, that there was a balance being collected from Mrs. Corona in the amount of 8,000 and odd pesos. Am I correct? Yes, I do recall that. And can you please refresh our recollection? What was that amount for? Um, the amount was for the real property tax in 2008. All right. And that demand was uh, presented to Ms. Corona, am I correct? Yes, yes. Right. Can you please tell us if there is anything that appears in your records regarding the payment of that amount? From uh, the checking uh, that has been done, uh, there is no record of the payment from Mrs. Corona. In other words, she has not received the uh, real estate tax declaration from you. That I am not uh, sure if she was able but to But the payment, what is the purpose of the amount? It, it was a collection of their share on the real property tax for 2008. And assuming that she would pay it, what would be your reaction or your response? Based on uh, the letters? Based on your practice. If she paid for that amount, oh, yes. what, would you, what would you give to her in exchange? The, the original tax declaration will be given to her. So as you have testified, she has not paid for the amount and therefore? Probably, but I'm not theref sure. Therefore, according to your practice? Therefore, according to our practice, it may be still with the company, with the developer. That the tax declaration is still not with Mrs. Yes, Corona? Yes, it may be still with the That developer. is all for this witness, Your Honor. Thank you. Cross-examination? Uh, consistent, Your Honor, with, our, uh, with the prosecution's uh, position, Your Honor, that uh, insofar as the Columns property is concerned, the uh, fact of uh, actual delivery which the defense is trying to prove, Your Honor, is immaterial. Because as we have already uh, put into evidence, deed of absolute sale has been executed, title has been executed, and money or cash has already been paid for by the respondent and wife in 2003 and 2004. So we have no cross-examination on the witness, Your Honor. All right. The witness <laughs> yeah. is, uh, Your Honor, before that, may I request uh, just to present the originals and that the photocopies that were submitted uh, yesterday... Uh, be confirmed and that the documents we presented be admitted can, uh, pr uh, under it, the best evidence rule. Show it to the prosecution and uh, if they accept them as uh, the original. Thank you, Your Honor. Request that the witness be discharged, Your Honor. <clears throat> you do not need the witness anymore. All right, the witness is discharged. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cruz. Mr. President. Majority floor leader. While they are marking uh, the continuation also of the cross-examination of another witness, Ms. Perlita Ele is um, in order in the agenda. She is the executive clerk of court, RTC, Quezon City. There were documents to be submitted, requested by the prosecution. Notarial commission issued by Attorney Maynard Panela monthly statements, reports covering letters of all documents acknowledged by Attorney Panela, including the year 2007. Ms. Uh, Ele is uh, being pre was presented by the, the defense. defense. Yes, Mr. President. So uh, she's going to be cross-examined by the prosecution. Yes, Mr. President. All right. 
Yes, Your Honor. In? She is uh, uh, already in the uh, building, Your Honor. She's on her way to the court. We, we will wait for her. Trial suspended for... Yeah. Mr. President, before you suspend, may we recognize Senator uh, Escudero while we're waiting? The gentleman from... Uh, Thank you, Mr. President. While we're waiting for the witness, Mr. President, just a quick question on both sides, just so that we know what we're looking out for. Um, Justice Cuevas or anyone from the defense panel? Um, tama po ba na ang pagkakaintindi ko, ang teorya ninyo, pag hindi pa nade-deliver, hindi pa lubusang pag-aari ni Chief Justice Corona at hindi kailangan ideklara sa salen. Yun po ba ang teorya ang sinusulong ninyo? That depends, Your Honor. If uh, what is involved is general delivery, then that will, the law on delivery will apply. But in cases of specific instances, then the very contract between the parties together with the exchange of communication will be very enlightening as to whether actual physical possession had already been delivered to the buyer, Your Honor. So, ang teorya nga po ninyo, pinapaturan niyo iba't ibang stages at klase ng delivery. At kung hindi pa delivered, hindi pa, ke- hindi pa kailangan ideklara. O sa kabilang banda, bagaman hindi registrado, kapag ka na-deliver na, eh hindi na rin kailangan ideklara. Yun po ba yung tamang pagkakaintindi? No, what is determinative of whether a property should be entered into the son of the piler, Your Honor, is whether you already have the ownership and possession of the property. Ownership and possession. That's correct, Your Honor. When you say ownership, it means reflected in official documents or government records? Correct. Um, for example, um, just describe us. In this case, your position is it was not yet accepted and therefore not fully delivered and therefore need not be declared. Even And, and also the name of um, the real property tax declaration is still in the name of the developer. Would that be correct? That is what our evidence show, Your Honor. But because there was no actual physical delivery uh, which allows the buyer to take possession of the property and exercise acts of ownership not until and unless the property had been delivered to him. To but her, on- and the, and the non-delivery, Your Honor, if caused by factors, which is also admitted by the seller, then that exempts the buyer from, make, from, making, it an, from making an entry with respect thereto in his son, Your Honor. But yes, on sir. the reverse, Justice Cuevas, in so far as the Marikina property is concerned, if I'm not mistaken, there was delivery, but ownership was not yet fully vested, in fact, up to today, in the person of um, Mr. Um, Vicente. Because I was thinking mm-hmm. that your theory was delivery would consummate it. What we were trying, there is no parity of uh, issues, Your Honor. In the case of the Marikina properties, what we proved by our evidence is there was a sale. Now, whether there is transfer of ownership, whether there was a, a torrent certificate of title issued in favor of the buyer is immaterial as between the parties, Your Honor. Because it is never a condition precedent to the validity of the sale that certificate, trust certificate of title had been issued in favor of the buyer. More so, if the buyer is not interested in the issuance thereof, Your Honor. Mr. President, I will not engage in an argument with um, Justice Cuevas or Counsel for Defense, only that it is my wish that um, the legal theories and positions of, of the two sides, although of course they should suit their respective clients and clientele, um, I hope would be consistent in so far as all the items in the salon is um, concerned. But we can catch the uh, there, thread of the arguments. Is, with Thank your, you, Mr. With Burger. the kind permissions of... Uh, Please, Your There is no parity of facts between the, this uh, Vicente case, and, Your Honor, and this case. The Vicente case deals with an existing property. In this particular instance, Your Honor, the sale, the contract to sale covers a property that is still have to be constructed, Your Honor. It was not in existence. So practically, it was a sale of a right, Your Honor. Now, when the, prop, when the building was constructed, it was only in 2006, Your Honor. So it is our humble submission that notwithstanding the payment of the price for the property purchased way back earlier than 2006, there, there could be no transfer of possession, Your Honor, because no property actually exists. In the Vicente case, Your Honor, the property was existing. And there is, not, there, is no, there is no necessity for the registration thereof by the buyer if he, does not, if he doesn't care to be issued the Torrent Certificate of Title. The Torrent Certificate of Title, Your Honor, binds the property against the entire world. But and, as against uh, 
But if I, I may interject uh, with the permission of the gentleman yes, Mr. from Sir Sogon, the theory of the defense, there was no asset to be reported. I di I'm sorry, Your Honor, I didn't get the... With your pardon, Your Honor. In other words, the theory of the defense is there is no uh, rest or thing to be delivered and accepted there was no asset to be reported. We, we have not gone that far, Your Honor. We were merely trying to solve the issue of whether he is already the owner, so much so that he is under obligation to report it in his SLN. All right. Go ahead. I submit, Mr. President. Thank you, Justice Scott. Thank you also. Are you through with the marking? Where is the next witness, Miss Miss Ellie? Is Miss Ellie already inside? She was with us a little earlier in the. Is she is the witness uh, in the building already? Yes, Your Honor. Very much. Trial suspended for one minute. Parang may na-establish na ba kung kailan ba talaga nagta-transfer ang ownership kung nailipat na ba ang susi? Hanggang ngayon? Kung meron bang ano, deed, of, uh, ano, deed of sale? Kung kailan ba talaga? <laughs> so walang asset na i-report? Yun ang sinasabi, no? Well, uh, kaya sabi niya, binawi niya kagada. Uh -huh. Striking yung sinabi ni Justice Cuevas uh -huh. na... Between the parties, hindi kailangan ng deed of sale. Di ba? Totoo mm -hmm. naman talaga mm -hmm. kung tayong dalawa, di ba? Hindi mm -hmm. kailangan. Basta nagkakaintindihan tayo na, okay. As against the whole world, kailangan ng deed of sale, di ba? Uh -huh. Kailangan na record yung deed of sale. Uh -huh. Kasi para alam ng buong, ba buong, di ba, buong sampayanan mm -hmm. na yung nalipat na yung property na ito. Uh -huh. So tanong ngayon, yung sal-end na yun, yung, yung property na yun dapat ba nirecord sa sal-end? Kasi as against the whole world, that property still, still belongs to... So, Chief Justice Corona, di ba? Oh. I mean, following the logic na oh. against the... Kaya binawi ni Justice Cueva. Kasi like, let's say, yung, ano, ako, government official, um, gusto ko, tunari, gusto ko itago yung mga pera. So, ang madali lang pala, ang gagawin mo na lang, ipaparada mo yung mga pera. Bibili ka na maraming property at marami kang ireklamo mga depekto para hindi pa deemed accepted yung mga property. The hmm. magic na wala na sa salin yung mga di mo malalaking... Hindi mo na kailangan i-report yung property. Hindi mo pa kailangan mm -hmm. i-report yung property. Kasi yeah. parang nasa purgatorio pa itong, pra, itong pera at yes, hindi na kailangan i-declare sa salin. Kaya lang, ang problema doon sa logic na yun, kailangan mo pa rin i i-report yung pera kung saan ng gal yes. diba? kung yung ginamit pa sa pumili at i-report mo yan as something yes. investment oh. yes okay mm -hmm. teka ando na si ano Carlita L ng QC RTC yeah. your honor yes may we be given two or five minutes to inspect the documents before we proceed with our cross examination how many minutes? <laughs> five minutes, Your Honor. All right. Uh, five suspend, trial suspended for five minutes. Okay. O, tuloy natin discussion natin. Tungkol sa acceptance. Ako yung naintriga dito sa mga acceptance. Kung ako ba yung nag-order ng sasakyan at na-imported galing abroad, Yun. kung hindi pa dumarating dito ang sasakyan, akin na ba ang sasakyan o hindi pa? Kung, kung, kung nasa na barko ba ang sasakyan? Kung nag-release na ako ng pera. Kailan ba ang naging akin? Common sense, di ba? Oo. Pag binili mo na, mm -hmm. sa puntong binili mo na, sa'yo na yun. Sa akin na yun. Dapat na-report Pag lumabas na, na yung pera, mm -hmm. sa akin na yun. Hindi, hindi kailangan nasa possession yun yung, mo. Yun yung, yun yung common sense. Eh, kung lumubog yung barko at nawala ang aking <laughs> sasakyan, paano ba yun? Um, pero, ano? pero babalik yung ako doon, na kung hindi mo nireport yun bilang pag-aari mo, mm -hmm. kailangan mo report yun na naglabas ka ng pera para bumili ng ganito. Mm -hmm. Oho. Diba? Still, it goes uh, down. So, hahanapin mo rin. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga, Kaya nga yung theory ko dito, lahat ito kasi, yung properties may explain eh. Mm -hmm. O merong mabibigay na dahilan. So lahat ito babagsak sa pera. Mm -hmm. diba? Yung at paano yung mapapaliwanag yung pera na yon At na-disclose na, na ba? Mm -hmm. Remember, hindi, hindi pwedeng pag-usapan kung saan kinuha yung pera eh. Oh, yung ilgatan. Mm -hmm. Hindi yan, yung hindi yan. Kasi na ilgatan ba o hindi? Mm -hmm. Talagang wala na yan. Ang, mm -hmm. ang tanong lang, ah, uh, 
nireport niya ba yung lahat ng pera na ito na ginamit niya para bumili ng mga properties na ito? Kaya, uh -huh. kaya in a way, irrelevant yung ano eh. Basta na-establish na, na, na binili niya, dito niya binili, ito yung amount, ng, ito yung acquisition cost, establish na natin yan eh. Mm -hmm. Pero dito siguro ang depensa, gusto yung patunayan na kaya hindi na deklara sa taon na ito, sa paniwala ng mag-asawa, hindi pa kanila. Kaya sa tingin diba? ko, oh, na-explain nila yun. Oh. Diba? Maaring hindi ka maniwala sa kanila, oh. pero meron silang explanation. Kung meron silang paliwanag kung bakit hindi mo na dinisclose ni... Lahat ba ng property yeah. din ganun? Consistent ba sila sa ganun? Ah, hindi. Kasi diba, ang maganda nga dito, kasi joined yung issue, kasi oh. sabi ng prosecution, 21 properties. Uh -huh. Sabi nila talaga, lima lang yung properties, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, kailangan mo bibilangin lahat ng mga properties uh, uh, ngayon. Siyempre, yung kay Vicente, mukhang napaliwanag yun. So, mm -hmm. tanggalin mo na sa 21, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yung sa mga anak, mm -hmm. open naman yun. So, Tatanggapin mo lang kung hindi yung kwento na talagang totoong may pera o hindi. Yung uh, natitira 17. So, na, ano? tang tanggalin mo. So, tanggalin mo siya kung mga dalawa, dalawang properties, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, meron pa rin uh, gap sa hindi na-disclose. So, gusto ko makita kung mapaliwanag ba nila lahat ng sinasabi ng prosecution na uh, pag-aari ito ni Chief Justice uh, na hindi niya din-disclose. Uh -huh. Hindi pa buo yung kwento. Pagdating dun sa mga anak, mahihirapan siguro yung prosecution ay establish na you know Mahirap, nag kasi, lang ang mga anak oh, para mahirap, sa mag-asawa. Ano an lang yun eh? Para Tamang duda kasi lang Kasi pwedeng yun. agreement na lang. Accusation lang yun. Yes. No, no, uh -huh. no, walang, walang preba. Di ba? Kailangan may proof sila na talagang nagdami uh -huh. yung mga anak. Di ba? Uh -huh. um, Now, kung kayo ay isang senator judge, how will you decide this? Kung let's say, sinabi ng anak, o akin na nga ito, terms. sabi ng magulang, uh -huh. oo nga, sa kanya yan. Uh -huh. How will you decide uh, something like this? Sure ako na kung reasonable doubt ito, proof beyond reasonable mm -hmm. doubt, talagang may reasonable doubt mm -hmm. na guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, pero hindi naman kasi yun ang yun sa tingin ko, ang, ang batayan, ang batayan sa tingin ko, substantial evidence. Eh. Mm -hmm. Enough evidence to support. So yung isang senador, pwede niya tingnan na walang, ang, walang nga namang income na nireport yung uh -huh. anak, di ba? Uh -huh. uh, and therefore, hindi niya pwedeng iyan, o. Uh -huh. uh, hindi niya pwedeng ang sabihin, sabihin na sa kanya. Sabihin niya, sa anak niya, ko kaya uh -huh. Ang suspecto ko, baka isa sa mga gagawin ni, ng defense nito, ipapakita na na may pera din yung anak. Yung uh -huh. ano, no? Pero, Pero hindi nila pwede iharap yung anak. Uh, kasi, hindi nila iharap yung anak. Out of the question yun, ano? Hindi nila iharap kasi uh -huh. uh, dangerous yun, di ba? For uh -huh. cross-examination. Uh -huh. Pero iharap nila yung income, Mm -hmm. yung alibawa na nasa abroad, yung mga ganong klase na, mm -hmm. na ano. Kaya, ang, ano ba ang problema dito kay, kasi hindi rin nag-report ng ano, kahit yung husband ata ng anak na doktor, hindi ganun ka yung nireport na income. income. Ah, parang hindi, hindi nag-match. Parang hindi ako, hindi ako sure, ha? Mm -hmm. parang, parang hindi ata hindi ata malaking income na nireport, di ba? Uh -huh. Bill bilang doktor. So, baka may ka-problema rin doon. Pero hindi ko talaga alam kasi hindi mm -hmm. ko nakita yung yung ano so maring 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 namang may pera talaga so kung may Napang income bili. talaga mm -hmm. pwede lang i-explain yan sa ganung pamamaraan mm -hmm. di ba okay pero ang bottom line na nakikita ko rito is that from 2002 to 2010 an average of 2.5 to 3.5 million ang in-report na asset ng mag-asawa mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. dito sa kanyang sal in so medyo um, I guess punto por punto kailangan nila pag-usapan each property kasi this property alone 3.5 na ang halaga oh. no at Malaki yun yung maximum na nanay declare per year from 2002 all the way to 2010 every year it ranges from 2.5 million Malaki na ba yung 3.5 million sa Malaki yun pag inadapt mo sa ibang mga ah, di ba oh. mm -hmm. kung yun lang siguro yung buong oh, savings mo doon di ba iba kasi oh. ano yan 3.5 pinagtatalunan di ba parang Pero Itong salin ba? Talagang correctable ba talaga ho ito? Oh, correctable talaga yan. Batas. It's, and Kasi, you can correct it oh, anytime. In fact, ang dapat talaga dyan na enforcement mechanism, may compliance officer, bawat agency, mm -hmm. na nagre-review. Mm -hmm. Ang salin binibigay sa end of March or April, nire-review dapat so that by June, kinokorect na ng mga... Ano, ng civil mga service or resident official. ombudsman? Uh, hindi, internal yan Kasi oh. magiging ombudsman lang yan O civil service kung may problema na eh. okay. Dapat internal yan ng, ng, ng isang agency okay. Meron sila parang compliance officer dapat Okay, din nagsisimula na huuli Itong impeachment proceedings, balikan po natin May we put it on record <coughs> That all the folders Are returned to The witness uh, Are you ready to cross-examine? Attorney Ele, are, are, are your files already uh, Complete? Yes, sir. Thank you. Your Honor, we have gone through all of the documents that we've uh, requested. 
we've inspected them, and um, we have no cross-examination questions. We will only mark the two documents that were presented yesterday, Your Honor. Uh, so you saw the uh, commission of uh, Attorney Maynard Panella. Yes, Your Honor. As well as the monthly statements, reports, covering letters of all documents acknowledged by Attorney Panella. Yes, Your Honor. Including the year 2007. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Uh, what is your pleasure with respect to this witness? We would like, Your Honor, that exhibits 215 and 216 that were identified and brought by the witness yesterday be adopted as uh, prosecution evidence and that we will be marking them, Your Honor. Mark them accordingly. May we request that exhibit 215 be marked as exhibit 11E, Your Honor? Mark them accordingly. Mark it accordingly. And uh, Exhibit 216 be marked as our Exhibit 11F, Your Honor. Mark it accordingly. May we have sub-markings, Your Honor, of 11E, insofar as the date is concerned, to be our 11E-1, Your Honor. Mark it accordingly. And the page 2, the second page of um, Exhibit 11F be marked as Exhibit 11 um, G, Your Honor. Mark it accordingly. And um, in 11G, Your Honor, we respectfully request a submarking of 11G-1 pertaining to the date, Your Honor. According, uh, mark it accordingly. Are you through with the witness? Your Honor, by way of uh, redirect examination, we just want to uh, also mark in evidence. But what is a redirect when there is no the, cross-examination? The, there was a cross-examination yesterday. This is just a continuation, Your Honor, of the cross-examination. And uh, during the cross-examination yesterday, the witness was required to bring with her a, the copy of the Commission of the Notary Public as well as uh, uh, the uh, notarial register for the month included, Your Honor, where the declaration of trust and the special power of attorney uh, were registered. And uh, by way of redirect, Your Honor, we would just want to uh, mark in evidence the documents just that... Just mark them. You have no redirect question. Yes, yes Your Honor. You're just uh, adapting those... Uh, those documents as your exhibit. So go ahead, mark them. We request, Your Honor, that the certification identified during cross-examination by the witness certifying that uh, Attorney Maynard P. Panela was commissioned a notary public for and in Quezon City for the term of April 6, 2006 up to December 31, 2007 be marked as our exhibit 224. Mark it accordingly. We also request the certificate of notarial commission issued by the executive judge of the regional trial court of Quezon City uh, in favor of attorney Maynard P. Panela, uh, dated April 7, 2006, be marked as our Exhibit 225. Mark it accordingly. That will be all, Your Honor. In for effect, you are... You, are, you have come into a stipulation of fact. It would have been simpler if you just made my both of you manifested anyway. Uh, you are through with the witness? Yes, Your Honor. The witness is discharged. Thank Next you, witness. Honor. Mr. President. The majority floor leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the next witness is, again, a continuation of the examination uh, yesterday. Attorney Eulalio C. Diaz III, ad administrator of the Land Registration Authority. Um, the, the, both defense and the prosecution agreed yesterday that they will uh, sort out the properties really owned by the Chief Justice. But then again, uh, I hope we can call on the witness uh, now, Mr. President, because uh, Senator Miriam Defense Have also the two questions. panels agreed on uh, the number of uh, uh, assets in the, uh, in the form of real properties uh, 
owned by the respondent chief justice. Uh, Good afternoon, Your Honor, yes. the Honorable Presiding Officer and the Honorable Members of the Impeachment Court. Uh, we have, uh, uh, I have met, uh, Your Honor, with uh, opposing counsel uh, this morning and we have sorted out uh, the list, uh, the titles as contained in the list uh, submitted by the LRA Administrator, Your Honor. And uh, we came up with a stipulation, Your Honor, as to uh, certain titles that are either cancelled or uh, titles not under the name of uh, Renato C. Corona or names of Renato C. Corona and Cristina Corona, but are also not cancelled, Your Honor. And we're ready, Your Honor. I am ready to state for the record, Your Honor, these did, did, did uh, titles, you have, Your Honor. Uh, did you enter into a stipulation of facts? We have entered into a stipulation, Your Honor, as to the uh, uh, entries, Your Honor, in the titles listed in the LRA Correct. letter, uh, Your Honor. I, the court is just clarifying. You entered into a stipulation of fact regarding titles. That's correct, Your Honor. In writing. No, Your Honor. Uh, we Why don't you reduce it in writing and submit it to the court uh, formally? Can you not do that for simplification? Uh, will it be a joint manifestation, Your Honor, or we have to comment? To All right, you can, you can manifest it if you want. Uh, you, your common agreement. We are ready, Your Honor, to manifest, but All right, it manifest might take it. a little longer, Your Honor, and I would, I would beg the indulgence of the Honorable Court, Your Honor, to yes. permit me. You, you now make a manifestation, and let's hear the prosecution. I will do so, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Of the 45 titles, Your Honor, contained in the list uh, submitted by the uh, LRA Administrator, Your Honor, in response to the request by Congressman Tupas, there are 17, 1, 7, cancelled titles, Your Honor. And uh, I am reading, Your Honor, and would like to invite your attention to this January 10, 2012 communication by uh, Attorney Eulalio C. Diaz, Administrator of the Land Registration Authority, to Congressman Neil C. Tupas, Jr. In these uh, numbered uh, titles, Your Honor, the following are cancelled. And those there are no longer material evidence in this proceeding. That's correct, Your Honor. All but, right. uh, well, well yeah, Your Honor, if I may, except Your Honor of one of the properties, the Ayala Heights property, which was sold only in 2010, insofar as the prosecution is concerned, that is still material for the years uh, 2002 to 2009, Your Honor. And that is our Exhibit Triple G, Your Honor. Yeah. Your Honor, please, insofar as this will prove our earlier uh, uh, stated purpose, Your Honor, that uh, in fact uh, cancelled titles were included in the list uh, to show or to, uh, to make it appear that the Chief Justice uh, still owns a number of properties, that would be this list, Your Honor, will still be, in, will still in be material other words, to us. You are stating that 17 titles uh, ought to be subtracted from the 45 uh, alleged titles owned by the very uh, property represented thereby owned by the respondent chief justice. That's a precise observation, Your Honor. All right. Um, Is that correct, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the prosecution, uh, from the prosecution side? That will be correct only for the year 2010, Your Honor, because as we have said, up to year 2009, the Ayala Heights property, Your Honor, was still in the name of Chief Justice Only Corona. to that extent. Only to that extent, All Your right. Honor. So these, these are the 17 cancelled titles, Your Honor. I will mention the number first uh, as appearing in the list. This is number 10 in the list, which is marked as Exhibit 199 for the defense. The title number is TCT number N-85804. Registered owners are Maria Cristina R. Corona and Renato C. Corona. And this is the Marikina property, Your Honor. This is actually the mother title of uh, the subdivided 
seven parcels of land testified on by the defense witness Demetrio Vicente, Your Honor. Uh, uh, in, and uh, during the testimony, witness claimed having, having already bought these parcels of land. Next is number 16 in the list of the LRA administrator. This is title CCT number 19497. But in the list, Your Honor, it, it appears there that it is registered under the name of spouses Christina Corona and Renato Corona. As a, an additional stipulation, Your Honor, the prosecution agreed that the list was wrong because in the list, it appeared there that the owners of this title are spouses Christina Corona and Renato Corona. But if we look at the title itself, it, it, it was registered under the name of Mega World Corporation, Your Honor, because this is an originating title. Next, Your Honor, is number 17 in the list, which is CCT number 19651. In the list, the registered names are spouses Christina Corona and Renato Corona. This is again wrong, Your Honor, because looking at the title, it will show that uh, the registered, registered owner is, was Mega World Corporation. There, there is also stipulation to that effect, and the prosecution agreed with that observation. Next, Your Honor, is uh, number 18 in the list, which is CCT number 19652, registered again in the list as spouses, uh, under spouses Christina Corona and Renato Corona. This is again wrong because the title itself shows that it was under the name of Mega World Corporation. Stipulation, there was a stipulation also in this regard. Next is number 19 in the list, which is CCT number 19653. In the list, it appears there that it, this property or this title is registered under spouses Christina Corona and Renato Corona. Again, this is wrong, Your Honor, because the title itself shows that it was registered under the name of Mega World Corporation. Next is number 20 in the list, Your Honor, which is CCT number 8777. In the list, it says there that the title is registered under spouses Christina Corona and Renato Corona. This is, again, a wrong list. Your Honor, because the title itself shows that it is registered under the name of Fort Bonifacio Development Corporation. Next, cancelled title, Your Honor, is number 21 in the list, which is TCT number 989. This actually should be TCT 989-P slash T-05-P. Cancelled as originating title to number 22, which is the McKinley property, Your Honor. Next is number 24 in the list, marked as Exhibit 201 for the defense. This is TCT number RT-77725100. Registered under Vicente Rocco Jr. married to Asuncion Basa. Next, cancelled title, Your Honor, is number 25 in the list, marked as Exhibit Triple G for the prosecution. This is TCT number 85121, registered under the names Spouses Renato C. Corona and Christina Corona. This is the Ayala Heights property, Your Honor, sold to the Rivera Spouses. Next, cancelled title, Your Honor, is number 28 in the list, marked as Exhibit Double U, at title number TCT number N-254901, registered under the names of Christina R. Corona and Renato Corona. This is the La Vista property sold to Maria Carla C. Castillo, married to Constantino T. Castillo. 
Next cancelled title, Your Honor, is number 3030 in the list, marked as, marked as Exhibit 203 for the defense. This is TCT number N-154400. Registered under the names of spouses Angelina T. Castillo and Constantino A. Castillo. Next, cancelled <coughs> title, Your Honor, is number 33 in the list. Marked as Exhibit 206 for the defense. This is a title, number TCT, number RT-106747. Two two six two five six, registered under the name of National Housing Authority. Another cancelled title, Your Honor, is number thirty-five in the list, pre-marked as Exhibit two zero seven for the defense. This is CCT number N dash one 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 six eight. Under the name Burgundy Realty Corporation. This is the originating title to the Burgundy property referred to in number 34 of the list, Your Honor. Another cancelled title is number 38 in the list, Your Honor, marked as Exhibit Double Y. For the prosecution, this is titled, title number 125683. With registered owners, Mirna Nelad Bahar and Beneroso E. Bahar. Another cancelled title appearing in the list is number 40 in the list, Your Honor, marked as Triple C for the prosecution. This is TCT number RT-20758, registered under the name of Daniel Encina. Married to Domiciana Artrero. Another cancelled title, Your Honor, is number 42 in the list of, RL, of the letter of the LRA administrator. This was pre marked as Exhibit 209 for the defense. This is TCT number RT 3190 Registered under the name of Eugenia Coronado, married to Juan M. Corona. And lastly, Your Honor, the 17th cancelled title is number 44 in the list, Your Honor, pre-marked as Exhibit 211 for the defense. This is TCT number 84241, registered under the names of Ismael A. Mathai Jr. et al. So these as, are all the cancelled titles, Your Honor. So as far as the defense is concerned, you're saying to the court that those 17 titles do not cover properties, la, real estate property uh, belonging to the Corona couple the Chief Justice and his wife. Is that it? That's the exact uh, admission made in the right. stipulation what this morning, Your Honor. What is the position of the prosecution? As we have said a while ago, Your Honor, subject to the qualification that, that the title of the Ayala Heights property, although cancelled, only in 2010, Your Honor. So that, insofar as the uh, prosecution so that, is concerned... that is your only reservation? Yes, Your Honor. That is yeah. still material for the years 2002 to 2009, Your Honor. All right. Subject to that reservation, we we finish with the uh, stipulation of fact. Your Honor, please. As manifested by the defense counsel into the record. Uh, so what is your pleasure? Your Honor, please. There is another set of stipulation that uh, we are able to make this morning, Your Honor. Just uh, let's finish the first uh, stipulation. All right, Your Honor, please. Is that correct? Huh? That is perfectly correct, Your Honor, as far as the defense is concerned. All right. Subject to the Subject to the reservation. reservation, Your Honor, which we will dwell at the proper right. time, Your Honor. What is the other stipulation? The other point of stipulation, Your Honor. May we just request, Your Honor, yeah, uh, sorry, 
If yes. we could just make a written manifestation in so far yeah, as let, this. Let us uh, hear first the. Uh, the thank point. you, Your Honor. The other set of stipulation, Your Honor, dwells on another set of titles appearing in the list, Your Honor. This will be. So before you start that, what is your pleasure? We Let's request, Your Honor, honor that uh, to expedite the proceeding, that it be done uh, in a joint manifestation, Your Honor. In so why far as this. Us, uh, why don't you file a, a joint written manifestation signed by both of you? Um, the we'll next that, stipulation, sir. Your Honor, will not take long, Your Honor. It will only contain. It will only uh, co uh, cover twelve titles, Your Honor. All right. Not Let's proceed. Second, second batch. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, we had a stipulation this morning where the prosecution agreed, Your Honor, that from the list uh, of 45 titles and excluding the 17 cancelled titles, Your Honor, 28 left. 28 of the uh, of the 28 titles left, Your Honor. All right. There are 12. Titles not under the name of Renato Corona or under the names of Renato Corona and Christina Corona, Your Honor. And that is accepted that by That is accepted during this morning's stipulation, Your Honor. No, Your Honor, not entirely correct, Your Honor, because of these 12 titles that are still existing or still effective, Your Honor, it includes four titles in the names, Your Honor, of the children of... Uh, the Chief Justice and Wife, of which the prosecution claims, Your Honor, that this belongs to the respondent and wife, Your Honor. So out of these uh, 12 titles, only eight are, uh, we are willing to stipulate that they are not in the names of Renato Corona or Christina Corona or the children, Your Honor. All right. Let, let, Your Honor, please, let me just, let me just be, be accurate, Your Honor. This morning, the stipulation was that we look at these titles as uh, as as uh, reflected or contained in the list, Your Honor, and the titles themselves, Your Honor, show who are the registered owners, Your Honor. But uh, the stipulation. They agree with you, Your Honor. There was agreement, Your Honor. I think the reservation was that four of these titles are still subject to their dispute, Your Honor. All right. But you talk about twelve. Twelve, Your Honor. You state the twelve. In uh, the yes, record, Thank and you, Your Honor. subject to a counter manifestation by the prosecution. Thank so you, Your Honor. The These are the twelve titles not under the name of Renato Corona, but still not cancelled, Your Honor. Number one, uh, I'll go by the listing, Your Honor, uh, contained in the LRA administrator's letter. Number two in the list, Your Honor. Remarked as Exhibit 198 for the defense. This is TCT number 58643, registered under the names of spouses Constantino L. Castillo and Rosenda A. Castillo. That's already marked for the defense. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Hmm. Number 22. In the list. Pre-marked as Exhibit Double G for the prosecution. This is TCT number 2093-P, Your Honor. In the list, Your Honor, the name appearing as registered owner is Maria Cristina R. Corona, Your Honor. But looking at the title, the name uh, Indicated as the one who is the registered owner is actually that of Maria Charina Corona. I got a stipulation this morning, Your Honor, and may I just get a confirmation from the good counsel as well, Your Honor, if they are confirming that. We confirm that, Your Honor, and that has been marked as our double ex uh, exhibit double G, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. So you Next. confirm that that is excluded uh, from the assets uh, uh, allegedly owned by yes, Your Honor. the Chief Justice? Yes, Your Honor. Next, Your Honor, is number 23 in the list, pre-marked as Exhibit 200 for the defense. This is TCT number 004-201-000-00410, with registered under the names Christina R. Corona et al. 
Next on the list, Your Honor, is number 26, pre-marked as Exhibit 186 for the defense, which is TCT number 004-201-000120. Registered under the names of spouses Rodel Rivera and Amelia E. Rivera. Next title not under the name of the Chief Justice, Your Honor, is number 27 in the list, pre-marked as Exhibit 202 for the defense. This is TCT number 004-201-000120. Registered under the name of Erlinda S. Castillo. Next on the list is number 29. Pre-marked as, ex or marked as Exhibit Double X for the prosecution. This is TCT number 004-201-001-0259. Registered under the name of Maria Carla C. Castillo. Married to Constantino T. Castillo III. Next title not under the name of the Chief Justice, Your Honor, is number 31 in the list. Pre-marked as Exhibit 204 for the defense. This is TCT number N-239406. Registered under the names of Constantino del Castillo et al. Next, Your Honor, is number 32 in the list, pre-marked as Exhibit 205 for the defense. This is TCT number N-239-398, registered under the name of Constantino del Castillo. Next, Your Honor, is number 36 in the list. This is pre-marked as Exhibit 208 for the defense. This is TCT number RT-626618217. Registered under the name of Constantino L. Castillo, married to Felisa A. Castillo. Next is number 37 in the list, Your Honor, pre uh, marked as exhibit triple B for the prosecution. This is TCT number N-32. 37732, registered under the name of Constantino T. Castillo III, married to Maria Carla C. Castillo. Next is number 39 in the list, marked as Exhibit Triple F for the prosecution. This is TCT number N-260027, registered under the name of Constantino T. Castillo III, married to Carla R. Corona. Lastly, Your Honor, number 43 of the list, pre-marked as Exhibit 210 for the defense. This is TCT number 84242, registered under the name or names of spouses Constantino Castillo Jr. and Angelina T. Castillo. These are all the 12 titles, Your Honor. So, as far as the defense is concerned, you have you are excluding 29 titles in that list issued by the uh, Land Registration Authority. Exactly, Your Honor. All right. What is the position of the prosecution with respect to these uh, 12 titles? And so far as the 12 uh, titles, Your Honor, defense admitted, Your Honor, that it includes four properties that the prosecution is claiming to be owned by the Chief Justice. And I will enumerate them as well, Your Honor. Yes. And yes. these are number 22 in the list, Your Honor. TCT number 2093, that's P, the McKinley Hill lot, marked as Exhibit double G, in the name of Maria Charina R. Corona, acquired in the amount of 9,159,940, Your Honor. The second property, Your Honor, is exhibit, is uh, item number 29, title number TCT number 004-2010010259, in the name of Maria Carla Castillo, 
Mark as Exhibit Double X, and this is the La Vista property acquired by Maria Mar Maria Carla Castillo for 18 million from Mrs. Cristina Corona, Your Honor. The third uh, property claimed by the prosecution to be owned by the Chief Justice, Your Honor, is number 37 in the list, and this is the TCT number N-327732, the Cubao property, which is in the name of Constantino Castillo III, which he acquired, Your Honor, 15 million pesos, Your Honor. Constantino Castillo III is the husband of Maria Carla Castillo, Your Honor. All right. And number four, lastly, Your Honor, is yeah. number 39, in the list, TCT number N-260027, the Calayaan property, Your Honor, registered in the name of Constantino Castillo III, married to Maria Carla Castillo, acquired in the amount of 10 million, 500,000 mark as exhibit triple F of the prosecution, Your Honor. All right, so of the first 17, you made the reservation on one title, okay? Correct? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. And on the second batch of 12 titles, you made reservation on four titles. Yes, Your Honor. And those, those are stated in the record. Now, for purposes of clarity and accuracy, the court now instructs you to submit your respective memorandum on this issue and justify your position, the position of the defense, for the defense, and the position of the prosecution, for the prosecution with respect to the five titles over which you made the reservation. Okay? Yes, Your Honor. Correct? Your Honor, please. Just a, a, a word for the record to correct the uh, uh, earlier statement that the price or consideration uh, for the McKinley property, Your Honor. The statement of whom? The statement of the opposing counsel, Your Honor, that the, the, the price for the acquisition of this McKinley property, Your Honor, is $9 million. This is contrary, Your Honor, to the existing uh, record, which is a deed of sale. Treat that in your written memorandum. All right, Your Honor. But mm. just to... Uh, Make this of record, Your Honor. Instead of nine million, Your Honor, the price actually is six million one hundred ninety-six thousand five hundred, Your Honor. Is there a deed of sale? Yes, please. Yes, please, Your Honor. And I, I'm reading from the deed of sale, Your Honor. And the deed of sale uh, uh, proves that is the, that uh, value of six million. This is the value reflected in the deed of sale, Your Honor. All right. Thank no, you, no, Your, your Honor. Well, uh, treat that in your your memorandum. We will do so as advised, okay. Your Honor. It's not, Your Honor. It's, All right. uh, it's 9 million, Your Honor. It's an exhibit double E does 15, Your Honor. Well, anyway, we will prove that, Your Honor. This is a factual issue which you will have to treat in your respective memorandum. Okay? All right. Uh, next witness. So, there remains a common, uh, I, would, I want to clarify, out of the 45 uh, proper uh, real estate assets uh, listed in the listing of the uh, Land Registration Authority originally sub uh, was submitted by that authority to the prosecution for purposes of asking a subpoena to sustain from this court 16 remains as recognized real estate asset of the Corona family. Am I correct? Well, for the prosecution, 29 Your Honor. By 29 minus uh, for 20, uh, 45 minus 29, 16. Subject to the reservation of the prosecution as to five. Yes, Your, Your Honor. All right. Your, Your Honor, please, just to make the record straight. Your Honor, please. Based on that on the transfer certificate of title alone, appearing in the list of the LRA administ uh, of the list submitted by the LRA administrator, there are 45 titles there, Your Honor. All right. We okay. exclude the 17 cancelled titles. That gives us only 28 titles, Your Honor. Yes. And now we also excluded 
12 from the 28, Your Honor. That gives us 16, Your Honor. And that, our, is your, that is your position. Yes, I'm just taking your the, honor. But the prosecution has a reservation. Subject has to the reservation, reservation with respect we to five that, titles. Your honor. Okay. So I want you to put this down in writing in your respective uh, memorandum and justify your position. Okay. If your honor, please. Yes. If it, will not, <coughs> if it will not be asking too much, Your Honor, may I propose that uh, this matter be the subject of evidence? Because this involves question of facts and not merely of law, Your Honor. Because while it is true that the property is registered not in the name of Chief Justice Corona, Your Honor, but in another's name, there is a claim by the prosecution that this belongs to Justice Corona and Mrs. Corona, Your that, Honor. That is only with respect to... There four are four there in are the four, 12, there and are four, then one in the 17. Yes, Your Honor. There are four uh, in the excluded list and another one, Your Honor. Mm. And I do not think that the memorandum will solve the validity of the claim of each of the contending parties in here. So if it will not be asking too much, may we humbly request, Your Honor, that evidence be required for purposes of enlightening the court as to the claim of, of both parties, Your Honor. Ah, it is not merely a question. With respect to the four. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, uh, the five. The yes, five. Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. All, All right. right. They, 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 because it, if I understood correctly, I hope uh, within the, with the kind indulgence of the Honorable Court, <clears throat> if I understood correctly, Your Honor, there is an admission on the part of the prosecution that this question titles, Your Honor, do not carry the name of Chief Justice Corona and Mrs. Corona as registered owners. But they argue in, that the, even if these titles are in, not in the name of, of Justice. the respondent, uh, Chief Justice, and his wife, yes, Your Honor. still, still. this property are supposed to be his. Precisely, Your All Honor. Right. There is where the so issue of fact comes in. That is subject of proof. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So ordered. We agree, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. President. <coughs> so we are talking here, we are talking here of 20, uh, 21. Yes, sir. 21, isn't it? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. President. The majority floor leader. Yes, may we call on the witness now? Well, Attorney Diaz. Yes. Ah. Now, we would like to manifest, Your Honor, that uh, this is our turn to cross-examine, and uh, there's no cross-examination for the prosecution, Your Honor. Uh, so far as a, the administration. Is there a redirect from the from the, the defense? Since there is no cross, Your Honor, may I, so, be, may I be allowed to say we, uh, yes. that does not require direct, but may we be allowed to ask a couple of additional direct with the kind permission of the Honorable Court? Granted, bring the witness in. Yes, sir, Mr. President, and also there are a number of members of the court, the senator judges who wish to ask questions on the, on the witness, to the witness. Where's the witness? In our room. So you should suspend that for one minute. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Ayan. Ba Bahalaga ba yung Ayun ano? Ayun din. Gano'ng kaimportante ba itong uh, pagpalansya ng listahan ng mga ari-arian ni So may labing anim pag natira. Ay nako. Sana first day ginawa na ito. Diba? Bakit nyo ho nasabi yun? Uh, kasi na-simplify. No? Mm. Alam na natin ngayon nila labing anim na lang natira. Diba? Yes. Anim. Oh, plus five um, na contentious. Pero may mga reservation eh. Yun, lima tanggap eh. Diba? Mm -hmm. So sampun na lang talagang pag-uusapan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, at ilan na naka-cover so far? Apat o lima na naka-cover so far. Eh. Kaya, uh, effectively, pa. mga apat o lima na lang ang, ano, no, ang, ang dadaanan natin sa, mm -hmm. ano, sa trial. 
So parang end of the tunnel na nakikita na natin. May katapusan pala yung trial na ito. Uh, pero hindi, unfortunately, hindi, sa, di ba, hindi ngayon sa uh, linggong ito kung hindi aabot pa ito ng Mayo. Mm-hmm. Gaano kahalaga ba itong uh, pag-sort out nila kung ilan ba talaga ang claim ng prosecution, ilan talaga yung claim ng Mahalaga case? kasi hindi uh, sa tingin ko, the only really strong mm-hmm. ground ng impeachment ngayon, ng conviction, mm-hmm. ay yung Article 2, no? Two. Uh-huh. Uh, na non-disclosure di ba, mm-hmm. ng assets and liabilities mm-hmm. yung, ng assets lalo na not so much uh, the flip-flopping not so much yung TRO na in kay Gloria oh, wala, it's more really wala na yun sa, sa tingin SLM. ko uh, ah. sa, sa tingin ko wala uh, hindi na patunayan yung ina-accuse nila doon eh. so talagang ito, ito na lang this uh-huh. is the only uh, di ba yung sabi ko nga from 8 to 1 but the 1 is enough uh-huh. di ba? Okay. Uh, 1 is enough uh, at dito sa so 1 as enough na ito nagbuboil papas a uh, a uh, nag na na uh, nandoon na tayo sa apat o limang properties na hindi pa napapaliwanag. Ayan okay. ho, nagsisimula na balikan Bumalik natin. Malik yung administrator ng LRA si Administrator Cruz. Mm-hmm. Ay, hindi si ano. To the Chief Justice. Am I right in understanding that? What what titles are those sir, no? All right. They are namely CCT CCT number 19497 CCT number 19651 CCT number 19652 CCT number 19653 CCT number 877 and TCT number ah, right. so that and CCT number 877. Uh, Your Honor, these titles will reflect the registered owner, Your Honor. So, I guess, uh, I, I cannot recall it here, Your Honor. The best evidence probably, Your Honor, would be the title itself. I know, I know that, uh, and thank you for the information. But my question to you is, they do not carry the name Renato Corona and Mrs. Corona as the registered owners. Kindly examine the documents in your possession before answering the question. Mine is only clarificatory. I understand that. Uh, Your Honor, please, uh, it, it is true that it may not be under their names, but the transmittal letter that the undersigned sent to the address, Your Honor, Covers other names. That's why the, there is a there's a mention of Renato Corona et al. Your Honor. In the very title. I, in the transmittal letter, Your Honor. Not in the title. Not in the title, Your Honor. So I see. So it is accurate for us to assume that these properties are not really registered in the name of Chief Justice Corona. Yes, yes Your Honor. If the title says otherwise, Your Honor. Yes. All right. Now, likewise, there are other titles in here. More particular, <coughs> TCT number RT77725, TCT number 85121, TCT number N254901, TCT number 154400, TCT number RT106747, CCT number Nine, not N that's one eleven six eight TCT number twelve five six eight three TCT number RT two zero seven five eight TCT number RT three one nine zero and TCT number eight four two four one. Examining the titles mentioned, we find out that the registered owner do not appear to be Justice Chief Justice Corona and Mrs. Corona. Is that right? Your Honor, oh. I, I hate to interrupt, but these are actually the subject of the stipulations, Your Honor. We were instructed precisely to that these questions well, uh, will not be propounded anymore. I will the allow defense. the question to Thank get you, an explanation from <coughs> the uh, witness. The tendency of the question is to ask him why these were included in this list. Yes, Your Honor. You Thank may you. answer. 
Yes, Your Honor. Uh, while the title itself, Your Honor, does not show that the registered owners are the Coronas et al. If you trace, Your Honor, uh, the council document for which these new uh, titles are, are uh, issued will have a bearing on the name search Corona et al, Your Honor. So, for instance, Your Honor, the, uh, you mentioned number 24. Yes. That, yeah. 15.4400. Let's have one example. Uh, oh, uh, the TCT number N, 15.4400. And the registered owners appear to be spouses Angelina T. Castillo Angelina. and Constantino A. Castillo. Uh, this one, Your Honor, is uh, from the search uh, named Constantino Castillo, Your Honor. It's a namesake, Your Honor. All right. While it is true that there was an agreement that these titles do not appear to carry the name Justice Corona and Mrs. Corona, yet they were imputedly properties of Chief Justice Corona and his wife. Is that the implication of your uh, certification? Uh, first of all, Your Honor, I did not issue a certification, Your Honor. What, what we provided the prosecution team are certified copies. And the, the letter, transmittal, that I used, Your Honor, for the prosecution mentions... Can I read into the record, Go Your ahead, Honor? please. Pursuant to your official request for information <coughs> relative to the real estate properties registered in the name of Renato Corona et al. So it is very clear that the request deals with the property with the registered properties of Chief Justice Corona. For information relative to the real estate properties. So and you replied and you replied to this uh, yes, sir. communication. This is the official transmittal, Your Honor, of the documents that I mentioned earlier. Correct. Yes, and uh, where d kindly tell the Honorable Court where, uh, where, uh, you got where did you get the facts stated in that transmittal? That you made. Your Honor, uh, we object, Your Honor. This has been asked and answered during the direct examination yesterday, Your Honor. What is the question and what is the answer? Would you be kind enough to tell us? Let, let the witness answer. Uh, it's a simple transmittal, Your Honor. To the best of my knowledge, it uh, covers all the information that the prosecu prosecution might need for them to study these titles, Your Honor. Uh, it's, a, it's a research material, Your Honor, actually. So it's not an affirmation or a confirmation that the titles, that the properties covered by the title in the name of other persons really belong to Mr. and Mrs. Corona? Definitely, Your Honor. All right. These are materials for them to further study, Your Honor. So it is the prosecution, did, you, did I understand you correctly that it is the prosecution's job to study these matters that you extended to them? Is that, uh, what, is that what I gather from you? I think, Your Honor, that I will not be in the best position to read their intentions, Your Honor. No, but, but the intention here is that whatever the whatever readout that the computer will show, I did not uh, go over them one by one, Your Honor, because... Yeah, but but it, we were made to believe that the inquiry is in connection with the impeachment case, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. And you knew that uh, it's rather difficult and rather embarrassing if you made entries in any of your communication to them, which is not true and correct. Yes, Your Honor. These are certified copies, Your Honor. Uh, counsel, uh, I beg your indulgence. Are you treating this witness as a hostile witness? Well, I was about to, Your Honor, in connection only with this aspect, Your Honor. Well, the, you have to qualify him as a hostile witness so that the questions will be properly authorized. All right, then. I, I, will, I will just withdraw that the question is relative to that fact, Your Honor. Okay. Now, kindly tell us whether uh, you have a hand in the examination of the title covering the Burgundy property. Uh, may I see clarification of the term used, Your Honor? You have a hand? What? Meaning you participated, or what is your participation? I collated the, the certified copies that was forwarded to my office owner, and I formally transmitted this through a letter to the prosecution Forward, team. Forwarded, forwarded to you to by the register of deeds yes, sir, of the particular place where the property is situated. Yes, sir. You did no more, no less. Yes, sir. 
Alright. On the basis thereof, it was made to appear that this property is owned by Burgundy Realty Corporation. Per your uh, communication sent to the inquirer. To, to, the, to the party inquiring. Uh, what, what title, Your Honor? CCT number N11168. That's only an example. Uh, I just merely transmitted these documents, Your Honor, as they are. Yeah. As they were reported to you by the yes, sir, no. corresponding register of deeds where the property subject matter of the inquiry it was uh, located, is located rather. Yes, sir. All right. Now, you therefore cannot... No, that will be all, Your Honor. That will be all. No more questions? Uh, Mr. President. No more questions? There are, Mr. President, from uh, Senator Miriam, Defense Officer in Chicago. No, I'm asking the ah. Defense Council. Yes, Your Honor. I'm through with the witness. Right. My additional direct, Your Honor. No cross? No cross, Your Honor. All right. Who? The lady from... <coughs> who, who among the judges? Who, uh, Senator, the gentle lady from, Antique, uh, from uh, Iloilo. Thank you. Attorney Eulalio C. Diaz III. You're a graduate of the Ateneo Law School and a registered lawyer. Why am I not impressed? What I mean is by your testimony yesterday afternoon. Let me see. I'm going to ask you certain questions to test your credibility. Your classmates with the president in grade school, is that correct? Not in all the years, Your Honor, because well, we have several sections, Your Honor, but we are batchmates, Your Honor. In grade school? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Then, he volunteered to work in his legal team when he ran for president. Is that correct? Uh, as a volunteer in the campaign, Your Honor. You're a volunteer. And then when he won, you served in his Senate staff. Yes, Your Honor. You served here actually in the pre precincts, in the premises of this Philippine Senate. Yes, Your Honor. You were... Director 5 from July 2, 207, in the office of the then Senator, who is now the President. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, you were. And then when you ran for President, you volunteered again for his legal team. Isn't that so? Uh, in campaign team, Your Honor. Yes, you did. And in August 2010, you were appointed to your present position. Present position. Now, Your Honor? Yes. Uh, when yes, were you Honor. appointed to your present position? Uh, August 4, 2010, Your Honor. You're August right, Your Honor. 2010. Said, yes, Honor. It is now almost a year from your appointment. Yes, Your Honor. Who was the appointing authority? The President, Your Honor. I didn't hear you correctly. Who was your appointing authority? The President, Your Honor. The President. And you knew already when you issued the certification that he was the President of the Philippines, whom you observed and supported for many years, who, wanted, who wants the Chief Justice to be impeached. Answer yes or no. It didn't appear that way to me, Your Honor. Ah, really? What appeared to you then? That uh, there was a party, the prosecution team, who wanted some... I know, but did you ask, since you are a lawyer and a registered one at that, you've signed the role of attorneys, did you ask what they wanted it for? You mean you were completely innocent of what the purpose was for asking for this list? It uh, appeared to me that they needed some materials for re research, Your Honor. Research? Research for what, did you ask? For information relative to the properties uh, of the Chief Justice. Yes, Assessor but didn't you ask? He couldn't even write you a formal letter, which would normally be the venue for a remedy sought by a senator or a congressman. He called you on the telephone. Yes, Your Honor. He called you on the telephone, and on that basis, you printed out all the names of people named Renato Corona, including his wife, Christina, and their children and in-laws. But in addition to that, the names of people whom they don't even know. Because, according to you, you, you are under the impression that they were asking for a traceback system, meaning to say that for every title that they mentioned, you want, the computer would show you how the original title was issued and to whom. Is that a fair statement? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Yes, it is. Then, you submitted the list, and you said, here is the list of titles that you requested from me. 
you didn't even bother, according to your testimony, to go over each name carefully because you are a former Aquino employee or official. And you knew already that President Aquino's instructions to the House Prosecution Panel was to impeach the Chief Justice. Yet you remained innocent of all of these political developments. You just sent a list that you knew was going to incriminate the Chief Justice without going over its name carefully, which is what you should have done being an Ateneo Law graduate. There were names there that are not related to the name Corona, yet you included them under the argument that you are observing a traceback system. That's what you are doing. If you do not deny it, I will assume that you are ag agree with what I'm saying. You have been in office since August 2011. It is now almost a year from August 2011. Couldn't you have devised, Mr. Attorney Diaz III, couldn't you have devised a computer system to filter information from your computer database? You're using high terms, high tech terms, like data where Warehousing, meaning to say your data just sits there. That's the meaning of data warehousing. Why couldn't you have organized your data so that when you print out or when you type a name into your computer, it will print the real status of the title so that if the title has been canceled, it will immediately, by one character alone, signify whether the title has been canceled or not. Why didn't you do that? I've asked the computer expert, how long will it take to install an information filter system in the computer. And she answered, it depends on the amount of data you're working on. Even if it is national, on a national basis, if there are no conflicts among the inputs, then you can do that in one day. But otherwise, if there are issues, you have to do it within three to five days. Why didn't you do that, Attorney Diaz, for the one whole year that you've been administrator of the Land Registration Authority? Your Honor, we do not normally do investigative work, Your Honor. <coughs> By practice, Your Honor, we use the database uh, using the TCT as a search engine, Your Honor. But when I ask the technical guys if the computer is capable of a name search, they said yes. So I instructed them to use it, Your Honor. Yun lang yun. Maski sinong tao pumunta doon at maging administrator, tanongin niya, yan ba, if I type in a name, it will give me the transfer certificate of title number for it? That could be answered by anybody. But any clerk would say yes if he knows his computer. And any head of office would immediately think of something better to mark his term of office with. That's all you did? You asked. Didn't you ask? Since this was already brewing into a political firestorm, didn't you ask your people? Is there a way we can filter information so that I will be committed only to issuing the titles that have been, that are not yet, can, that have not been canceled or which are still valid as of the day I print them? That was not the intention of the requester, Your Honor. Uh, what was the request then? To get any information relative to the... Therefore, it was a dragnet. Is that what you're trying to say? It Drag a net as widely as possible and then give me all the names related to these people. That's it? I think that was the intention, Your Honor, for them to do a study, ah, Your Honor. Ngayon, lumilitaw na sinabi pala sa media ng prosecution, 45 ang properties nitong defendant na ito. Hindi ba nakakahiya naman yan? Kadami-rami ng properties niya. Saan niya kinuha yan? Di ninakaw niya? Ganon ang pinagsa pinagsasabi nila. That was the implication that they sought to sow in the minds of their readers and viewers. And now it turns out that there are only maybe 21 or so. Oh, hindi mo ba naisip na magiging ganun ang consequence niyan? You're not a Teneo Law graduate and you're a lawyer. I just forwarded the documents. As you were an automaton. Came. Sino ngayon may kasalanan? Prosecution o ikaw? Answer me. Look at look in my eyes. Look me in the eye. I have no fault here, Your Honor. Oh, wala ka. Adi sila. Ano I'm not saying that either, yun, eh? Your Honor. I'm sorry? I'm not also saying that, Your Honor. You're not saying that. All right. What are you saying? Whose fault is it? Someone is at fault here. I wouldn't know, Your Honor. As long as far as I... I commend your ignorance, Mr. Administrator. As an example to all others who should not be as ignorant as you are. Let me read to you your violations of the Civil Code. First, the provision on quasi delicts in the Civil Code. Article 2176. Whoever by act or omission causes damage to another, there being fault or negligence, is obliged to pay for the damage done. Period. 
such fault or negligence is called a quasi delict. You are guilty of negligence. Not only of negligence, but of gross negligence. Either you or the prosecution, nobody else. Since this is a physical world and we don't belong in the spiritual universe. We do not accept that there are spiritual implications on that dimension in our universe. Someone was guilty of negligence or gross negligence. And let me read to you as a lawyer the jurisprudence on negligence. Said the Supreme Court in the case of George McKee versus Intermediate Appellate Court, 1992. There is negligence when there is a breach of duty or failure to perform the obligation, and there is gross negligence when a breach of duty is flagrant and palpable. That's what you are doing. You are in flagrant and palpable, gross negligent, grossly negligent of your duty. You knew that this was going to be used to destroy, try and destroy an incumbent public official. You should have been more, much more careful not to implicate other people or to raise the the wrong suspicions in the mind of the neutral viewer or reader. You did not do so. You just asked for a printout, and the moment it got into your possession, you just sent it out. Were you so extremely busy that day that you could not go line by line over these names and say to yourself, gee whiz, some of these names don't even have the corona in it, the corona name in it. Why are they in this list? And you did not even have an explanation in your letter of transmittal. You did not say, for example, this list was produced under the trace back system. This will explain why there are names there which are not the name Corona. Because we are using a system that traces back the original certificate of title to its original owner and, to, and all to whom it was passed until it came into the possession of the present owner. You didn't even say that. You didn't even say, please check this for accuracy because we are working only with raw data. You didn't say anything. We have your copy of your letters distributed to us. Let me also tell you, as a lawyer, in the case of Jimenez Enterprises versus Ombudsman, this 2011, for an action to constitute gross inexcusable negligence, it is essential that the breach of duty borders on malice and is characterized by fragrant, palpable, and willful indifference to consequences in so far as other persons may be affected. What do you have to say to that, Attorney Diaz? Was that what you learned in your law school? You knew it would affect adversely other people have no relation whatsoever to this case. Yet you issued a document that was highly incriminatory of those people. I, I give you a, an opportunity to rebut me. Yes, Your Honor. First of all, Your Honor, the, I am not a party to this case. I would have uh, assisted also the defense uh, team if they requested for some documents for their use or research. I would have even presented to this honorable tribunal or honor if I was requested. And uh, it, it is that fact that I did not have to uh, review these documents lest I be found biased to one party. Huh? You are going to review an official, you are going to, re you intended to review an official document and you abstain from reviewing because you might be accused of being biased, just checking for the facts. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Look at me. Look at me. Straight in the eye. That's what you're trying to tell me? We're both graduates of law school and we're both registered lawyers and that's what you're trying to tell me? Yes, Your Honor. That is how it was, Your Honor. Why don't, as I said, why am I not impressed by your answers, Mr. Diaz? Let me tell you what the test is. In a very, very old case, Picard versus Smith, this is the test. Did the defendant, meaning to say you, in doing the alleged negligent act, use that reasonable care and caution which an ordinarily prudent person would have used in the same situation? I address this to both panels and to my fellow colleagues in this impeachment court. Can we say that he used reasonable care and caution which an ordinarily prudent person would have used? I beg if the not, indulgence of the. Uh, Lady Judge, uh, uh, I will let her continue uh, for another minute. Thank you. If not, then he's guilty of negligence. The law here, in effect, adopts a standard supposed to be supplied by the imaginary conduct of the discreet pater familias of Roman law. Surely you are familiar with the doctrine of the pater familias, the father who takes care of his children. Yes, sir. Did you do that? You will answer, of course, in the affirmative because you already did just a few minutes ago. 
so I will not belabor that anymore. I will go on, in view of the remarks of the presiding officer, to the text of the civil code, which I mentioned earlier. I was talking about quasi delics. Now let me talk about human relations. Article 19, every person must, in the exercise of his rights and the performance of his duties, act with justice, give everyone his due, and observe honesty and good faith. That's what the civil code says. And you become liable for damages when you violate that provision. Your liability as LRA administrator will come from the penal code. Particularly under Article 363, you are incriminating an innocent person. Any person who, by any act not constituting perjury, shall direct, directly incriminate or impute to an innocent person, the commission of a crime shall be punished by so-and-so. I believe as a judge that you are standing on the very brink of pushing the envelope. You're right there on the cliff. All I have to do is put out one finger and you'll fall right down. You've been trying to incriminate innocent persons. In fact, in the case of Companano versus Datuin, 207, as early as that Supreme Court said, the crime of incriminating innocent persons consists of, for example, planting evidence. Are you sure that you are not planting evidence with the issuance of that list? As for the liability of prosecutors, I ask you gentlemen to study your canons of judicial conduct. It is very clear from the jurisprudence on the basis of those canons that you are likewise in the same geographical position as your client. You are teetering on the brink of criminality. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. Majority floor leader. Um, May we recognize Senator Lorin Legarda, Mr. President? The gentle lady from Antique Malabon and the Republic of the Philippines, Senator Legarda. Thank you, Mr. President. I simply wanted to follow up, Mr. President, my request, uh, which I made yesterday, if Mr. Diaz would remember. I wanted a more accurate list of the properties of Chief Justice Renato Coronado Corona and um, excluding the Del Castillo properties, which not, were not even um, owned by the son-in-law Del Castillo, but only a namesake of the brother-in-law. I believe that I requested, and the presiding officer asked the uh, witness to present such in today's hearing. When I have the list, then I will propound my questions later. Your Honor, uh, when the request was made, I uh, manifested that it will be a subject of a uh, stipulation by the parties today and so I did not get a definite ruling whether or not such request will be premature, Your Honor, because the parties will have to discuss among themselves what properties are included from what will not be included, Your Honor. Uh, I think that my request was simple. I simply wanted the list of properties uh, under Renato C. Corona. And um, if members of the prosecution can do that, uh, perhaps uh, senator judges can do that. And all we wanted from the LRA was a Renato C. Corona listing based on the technology you have, uh, the search engine, which you mentioned and you were explaining to Senator Joker Arroyo. And I thought that you had brought that list. Because if you will recall, uh, this letter containing the list of 45 properties in my interpolation yesterday, you mentioned that you merely put the name Renato Corona, which came up with this list of 45, which is totally inaccurate. And you also admitted that you put the name of the wife of Corona, which is Christina Corona. You also admitted that you punched in the name of the daughter as well as a son-in-law, and the name of a namesake of the son-in-law is included in this 45. It would be therefore very difficult for me as a senator judge to make a wise and enlightened judgment if I will be basing it on an inaccurate document. First of all, Your Honor, the transmittal letter that uh, is being used by, by some parties, Your Honor, includes the term et al, Your Honor, and it is in my humble opinion that the et al will cover even the namesake, Your Honor. And so it was uh, included in the list, some of the namesake, Your Honor, and certified copies, Your Honor. I'm not asking for a um, name with et al, my request was for the LRA to present a list of Renato Coronado Corona or Renato C. Corona. If you punch that, and perhaps because that should be included in the sal and including the properties of the white Christina Corona, that would be in order. 
I uh, would assume that um, the witness could have done this uh, this morning and brought the documents here. I have a list, Your Honor. Can but you kindly present it? Uh, uh, it says here, Christina Corona married to Renato Corona. Is that what Your Honor is asking for? Perhaps, if it would be so that we can have a, a basis or a comparison with the list of the 45. I have it with me, Your Honor. But I don't know if it's, this will jive with the stipulation of the parties, Your Honor. It doesn't matter. Uh, whether it is stipulated by either of the two panels, um, it is of interest to us. In short, sinimulam na po ng 45 na napag-alaman po natin base sa ating pag-uusap kahapon na hindi po accurate. Kaya gusto lang po namin i-correct uh, yung impormasyon na nasa amin po para makita namin yung tunay na properties na nasa pangalan ni Chief Justice Corona. Hindi pa po. Sa aking kaalaman, ay ilan po yung inamin yung walang koneksyon sa pamilyang Corona? Yung kapangalan lang ng son law Ilan po sa 45 ang sinabi nyo kahapon? Uh, I cannot readily recall, Your Honor. You, know, you, you even named number 27. You just look at the list. Um, there were three properties, I think, which were the name of Del Castillo, which you said... Yes, sir. W was a namesake of the son-in-law, but upon verification, did not belong to the son-in-law, but belonged to another person with the same name. I I you, you said that? Yes, sir. Were these three properties? Sabi mo number 27, if my, uh, was it ah, yes, number 30? Sir. Yes, number 27 is one, Your Honor. And number 30? 30. That's why? Yes, yes, So sir. all, what else? We have a... Uh, you read that into the record. Number 31, Your Honor. Number 27, which is... Uh, Name Erlinda Castillo, Castillo. And number 30, which is Angelina Castillo and Constantino yes, Castillo. And number 31, which is Constantino del Castillo. Number 32, Your Honor. And 32 also. Yes, Your Honor. Constantino del Castillo. Number 33, Your Honor. And number 33, which is National Housing Authority. Yes, Your Honor. Um, I simply wanted a list without those names because those have no relevance and materiality to what we are discussing now because this were the byproduct of what you said was just a search engine and it has no connection at all even to the son-in-law, right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. That, that's all I wanted, actually. Uh, I'll, have it, I'll have one printed, Your Honor, for, for Your Honor. Please. Yes, Your Honor. How long does it take, just for my... If you punch in the name... Renato C. Corona, how long would it take you to generate this information? It depends on the volume of uh, data in that particular RD, Your Honor. Uh, say that again. Uh, it would depend on the volume of data. Yes, Your Honor. In this case, uh, 45 uh, titles, how long did it take you to do it? Uh, about two to three days, Your Honor. Uh, roughly. Two to three days? Yes, Your Honor. Mm. Uh, why does it take so long? Because we are not used to Doing there is name. no central database. There is, Your Honor. And it takes two to three days, even if you punch in the name? It does not go to one server? Uh, what happened, Your Honor, is that I delegated this to our technical guys, mm -hmm. and they uh, fund it out to the different registries, Your Honor. How many register of deeds did you consult for this? Uh, NCR, Your Honor. NCR. NCR registers of DJ. The whole NCR? Not all, Your Honor. Not all, Your Honor. To be honest. Uh, How did you determine which register of deeds you would um, assign or task this uh, assignment to? Well, we we did not have a guide, Your Honor. We just pa, uh, tested mm -hmm. Makati, Paranaque, uh, Quezon City. Why, why did you... Why did you uh, only search for from the NCR. We well, did you do that on your own? Or yes, Your Honor. Were you instructed by somebody to search only for some properties some, yes, in the National Capital Region? No, Your Honor. We did it best to start with the these registries because we thought that in all probability there will be a hit somewhere here, Your Honor. So we well, did the, well, the, the Chief Justice comes from the province of Batangas. Uh -huh. so Why did you not uh, search for uh, property in his name in Batangas? Some areas in Batangas are not yet computerized, Your Honor. Huh? 
some are this in Batangas are not yet computerized or on. Yes, but uh, if you were requested by somebody to search for property in the name of the Chief Justice, then uh, the re- did they state that uh, only in NCR and not the entire country? No, they did not, Your Honor. They just asked for what information we can give them, Your Honor. So you, you, you took the initiative of searching only in Metro Manila? Yes, Your Honor. And the prosecution was satisfied with that? Apparently, Your Honor, because when they requested second time, they... Uh, did they specify that Please search only in Metro Manila. No, Your Honor. Why did why 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 did you decide to search only in Metro Manila and not the entire country? Well, the the this Chief Justice is a national leader. For accessibility, Your Honor. Huh? Basically, for accessibility. For uh, for uh, expediency. Yes, Your Honor. For uh, speed. For what? Partly, yes, Your Honor. Huh? Partly, yes, Your Honor, because uh, these are accessible to our office in Quezon City, Your Honor. All right. And the, the lady may continue. Thank you. I am therefore awaiting the document that you promised, that I requested for. And, and just, yes, while I am waiting for that, may I know from Attorney Diaz, after you personally, did you personally give this document to Congressman Tupas, the lead prosecutor? It was done by a driver messenger, Your Honor. Mm, I see. I don't know if my memory fails me. Did the lead prosecutor actually say that he did not receive this list from the LRA? I, I cannot confirm. I recall upon questioning of Senator Jingoy Estrada or Senator Escudero, um, my colleagues who are there, the lead prosecutor said that he had nothing to do with the 45 properties some, some, some weeks ago. I'm Your, Your Honor, can, can I answer that, uh, Mr. President? What's the pleasure of the gentleman? Uh, there was a question or a clarificatory question from, uh, from uh, Senator Lauren Ligarda about the statement or alleged statement which I uttered. Can, may, can, I, uh, can I say something about it? Yes, yeah, in course. answer to uh, to that uh, query, I, I did not say that, uh, Your Honor. Uh, I did not say that uh, I have nothing, that I did not receive the letter from LRA. Because uh, it was, uh, I sent a messenger to receive this letter to the LRA on, uh, I can't remember, on the same day. That's uh, January uh, 10, Your Honor. So I, I did not, I did not uh, say that I have nothing to do with the list, nor did I say that I did not receive this list from LRA, because I did. You did receive it, yes. Yes, uh, I, yes sir. Uh, thank you for that clarification, Congressman Tupas. Uh, I was actually just seeking clarification because I do not exactly recall your response to the questioning of both Senators Estrada and Escudero when this item of 45 properties, which is actually not 45, uh, there is some confusion now uh, based on the inaccuracy of the research done by the LRA. So uh, I will temporarily terminate um, at this point, uh, Mr. President. I will read the list given by the LRA and uh, continue later. Thank you. Majority floor leader. Uh, Senator Marcos uh, would like to be recognized. Yes, Senator Pia Marcos, Cayetano. Marcos Norte. Thank you, Mr. President. Just, uh, Senator Bongbong Marcos. Thank you, Mr. President. I just uh, some few questions for the witness. Uh, Attorney Diaz, if I remember from your testimony yesterday, you said that the, uh, the search, the method rather, of searching for uh, the titles that you included in this letter to the prosecution, uh, that the method that you used... Uh, as you described it yesterday, was used for the first time upon the request of uh, uh, Congressman Tupas for, for these titles which you eventually gave him. Is that correct? It's new, Your Honor. It's it was the technique. first time you used it was for the, cor- yes, for Your the Honor. corona search, if we, if we care, yes, care to call it that. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So what happened was you used the new system, and the new system produced this list. You then put in 
uh, you just sent this list to the prosecution team. That's a fair yes, sir. Uh, narrative. Okay. So, subsequent to that, if, I, if I'm not also mistaken, you said yesterday that after you conducted the corona search on your new system, you then started, you then did not use it anymore. Uh, Me, yes, sir. That was, in other words, it was the only time you used it. Why did you discontinue using the, this, uh, this, this, this method of searching, of computer searching, after you had generated this list? Because, Your Honor, we realized that uh, we have to come up with some rules and regulations also for a name search. Because if not, Your Honor, uh, such information is very vital. And we do not want any person, for that matter, to be a subject of, a, of, an, of an inquiry that is not warranted. So right. why did you suspect that that might be a, a, a possibility or that might be a weakness in the uh, search system that you were using? Because, Your Honor, we are also confronted by syndicates in the land titles. And they could possi possibly use that system mm -hmm. so that they can generate some information that can be used against all of us, Your Honor. And, the, and this kind of information would be misleading. Uh, would uh, would be because it is too general. It is too. It is non-specific. Is that uh, is that the reason that you stopped using this new system? No, it, no, it will not be fair, Your Honor, to some people because uh, by then it will uh, it will send out some information mm. that should not be given out, Your Honor. So, in your judgment, the system that you had been using was faulty, was flawed, was weak somehow, and that's why you stopped using it. No, no, there were no rules, Your Honor. The, the use of the computer, Your Honor. So, How, so did, were there any rules when the prosecution team asked for, did, were there any rules being applied when the prosecution uh, team asked you for this list which you subsequently uh, uh, supplied them with? There was a... There were no rules because that's why you stopped using it, right? Yes, Your Honor. That so did you not feel that those rules should have been applied in the search for, uh, for Justice Coronas and his family's uh, title search? Uh, or is it okay that there are no rules for the Corona search, but we must apply new rules for any other search? Why, why that distinction? Your Honor, uh, it was, uh, it was uh, requested so, but again, by... Uh, by the prosecution team. But again, and you yourself said that there were misgivings, that no proper rules were in place so that, to, uh, in, in, uh, uh, that, we should, that you should follow when conducting a title search. That is what was your conclusion. That's why you stopped using that system. Thereafter, Your Honor. Thereafter. Yes, sir. But for you, it was perfectly acceptable that no, there were no rules when you did the corona search. That's okay. It's okay to have no rules applied in the, in the use of this computer search when it came to the corona search. Whereas, you are thinking for other searches, those rules must be instituted, must be created, and must be applied. So, why the difference? Because, Your Honor, this is an impeachment proceeding, Your Honor. And therefore? And therefore, Your Honor, I must participate if the, way, the best way I can. If the defense team would have asked... So Okay, I would so have provided them to Your Honor. Okay, so if there is another impeachment trial in the, down the road, in the future... And we ask you for a title search. You will revert back to this system of no rules when you conduct that title search? I will, I will uh, provide you with copies, Your Honor, because then the... <laughs> no, 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 no. Will you apply? Will you then go back to the same, the same uh, system that you used in the corona search without applying the rules that you said are missing the rules in the that conduct I of those searches? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The, the rules that I mentioned, Your Honor, will only provide... Uh, the requester some degree of responsibility for them to be given certified copies or not, if the name search will be used. And so the, the, you, you feel that those rules are not necessary in the case of an impeachment trial? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, it's okay. Fine. Well, uh, that sounds to me like a double standard, but uh, never mind. Let me, pro let me proceed. Uh, so after you felt that the system that you were using uh, lack guidance, lack rules, lack rules, lack regulations. You stop using the system. We temporarily stopped using it. Have you, have, you have you since then started to use it again? No, Your Honor. No. So, so far, thus far, this is the only time that that search, that you by your own, by your own testimony say, did, did not have proper rules applied to the conduct of that search, it was the only time that this system was used. 
There was no need no, for rules no. at that time, Your Honor, because that was the first time that... So there are no need for rules when the prosecution asks you in the corona search, but there's rules for us, for people who are asking you when there are syndicates or for other requests? Why, can... why, why this one has no rules and the others need rules? Because, Your Honor, this is an impeachment court. This okay, is so if, there is, if this is an impeachment court, there's no need for rules? I will have to assist the court, Your Honor, out of respect. Okay, never Honor. mind. Uh, we, we, we can see what, uh, uh, what you're trying to get at. Okay, when, when you found that the, the system might be fa faulty or flawed or weak in some way, did you communicate that conclusion to the prosecution team so as to guide them, to say, you know, we did not apply these things which we would have preferred to have applied, these rules which we would have preferred to apply? Uh, did you say maybe we should uh, have another look at it or you should look at the list that I gave you carefully because we did not apply certain rules which we think we should apply? Did you warn the prosecution team that there may be weaknesses in the, in the system that you used to generate this list? There was no weakness in the system, Your Honor. And there There's was no, no weakness in the system. So why are you not using it? We used it, Your Honor. Yes, we, once. Why are you not using it now? Because uh, if it is perfect, if it is well, working so well. The rules, Your Honor, does not apply to the system that we're using, but on the request that will be granted, Your Honor. So if, uh, if uh, anybody would uh, nobody, for no apparent reason, will come to us and would like to search uh, properties of a certain high-profile person, Your Honor. I think it's my duty also to be fair to that so person. So these rules do not exist. So right now there are no proper rules for a, an inquiry to the LRA. If it's you, you still have to draw them up that they do not exist thus far? Well, so far, Your Honor, if it is made, if a person is making a request, uh, is vested with an authority of an office, and he's making a request in his official capacity, then we might, we will provide him or her some documents, Your Honor. But you will not use the, the, the computer search that you used before? We will, Your Honor. Oh, you will? But why, so why, again, well, never mind, this is, get, this is becoming a circular argument. Uh, but so you did not tell the prosecution that we have since stopped using this system for these reasons, and perhaps these reasons may have an effect on the, I don't know, accuracy, veracity of the, of the list that I've shown, uh, that I have sent you. You did not uh, make that communication. There was no need, Your Honor. There was no need? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Well, so you say that the product generated by a search that was – the system that, that you used to make that search that was subsequently – was subsequently – no longer used because there were some weaknesses in the system, had no need, you did not have ed, feel any need to inform the prosecution. Kaya napapasubo ang prosecution dito dahil ang binigay ninyong listahan ay hindi maliwanag at mukhang hindi naman tama uh, for the very, and for that, should you not have warned them so that they, they, they're not put in this position now where they have to explain why uh, 45, uh, 45 titles were announced when in fact so many should not have been included in the list. Since you already had, as you say, misgivings about the system, should you not have warned the prosecution? I have misgivings about the systems. Be warned. Mag-iingat kayo. Tignan natin mabuti. Let's go over it again. Something like that. Wala kayong pinag-usapan ganun? Wala po. Wala. So you did not, you did not... Uh, so this was the only time it was used. It is no longer been, being used because you feel there are weaknesses in the system. No. You did not warn the prosecution that you had perceived some possible weaknesses in the system. Attorney Diaz, you know, ayaw na, ayaw na ako magdagdag ng sabon na inabot mo mula nung kagabi hanggang ngayon. But this is highly irregular at the very least. And at worst, it is uh, violative of the civil code as uh, Senator uh, Miriam Santiago has uh, demonstrated. So you will understand why we are quite perplexed that the, 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 the manner and, shall we say, the, the, the cavalier attitude you had to uh, just printing out all kinds, of, all kinds of titles which, in fact, were not uh, double-checked, were not used, were not, were, 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 you already had misgivings as to the product of your search. I cannot, uh, <laughs> I cannot understand why. If I were hmm. suspicious, may I would I say, did Ed, may, meron, bang nag, meron bang nagsabi sa'yo? Hindi bali, lagay mo na lang lahat dyan. Padamihin na lang namin. Mas maganda, mas marami. I beg the forbearers of the, the gentleman. I will allow, allow you to finish your 
questioning in one minute. An interjection, a 30-second interjection related to Senator Marcos' statement, Mr. President, with your permission. I yield to the lady. Thank um, you. This is very relevant to yours. I'm just really confused because I was listening intently to Senator Santiago, and the witness said that he did not know it was an impeachment proceeding, and he simply gave the list. <laughs> However, listening to Senator Marcos, the witness says when it is an impeachment, he cooperated, and if it's the fence who asks for documents, he would also give the same documents. And uh, you've been discussing that for the past couple of minutes, and he said because it is an impeachment. Uh, this representation, Mr. President, is therefore perplexed as to the statement of the LRA attorney, the administrator, saying 10 minutes ago to Senator Santiago that he did not know it is an impeachment, and telling another senator judge that it was an impeachment and there are no rules in an impeachment proceeding. I am just confused. Perhaps we can direct the question to the witness. Which is it, Attorney Diaz? Was uh, it because it was – what, did you know it was an impeachment trial or did you not of know? Of course, Your Honor. Oh, you the did, subject you, of the judicial notice, uh, so Your Honor. You, did, you, were, you, all, you misspoke when you answered the Senator Santiago. Categorical. I just want to, answer, to hear an answer categorically. Sinabi po nyo kay Senator Santiago na hindi po nyo alam na impeachment ang dahilan at gagamitin yung mga dokumentong hinihingi po sa inyo. Pero narinig ko po ngayon kay Senator Marcos, sabi po nyo, dahil impeachment, kailangan po magbigay kayo at tumulong sa taong bayan. Tama po yung sagot nyo. Pero ano po sa dalawa, dahil lihis po yun at kaiba? I knew, Your Honor, that they are the prosecution of the for the prosecution, Your Honor, representing the House for the, for the impeachment court, Your Honor. But how they will use this information... I am not asking how, and Senator Santiago did not ask you how. And I heard very clearly, you said, I did not know what use it would be for. Yes, Your Honor. I did not know it was for an impeachment. Even look at the transcript of records. So I am confused because I thought that it... You even said... Akala ko pang research. Yes, sir. You, it would research, so I thought it was legislative research you were referring to. In short, I would grant you your innocence and give you the benefit doubt. Maybe you just need to enhance your communication skills. But what I understood from Senator Santiago's question and your answer was that you seemed not to know it was meant for an impeachment proceeding. But very clearly, your answer to Senator Marcos was that it was, it was for impeachment. And so I just wanted clarification whether you actually knew it was going to be used for this or not. Sandali lang, uh, para maklaro natin ito. Uh, Nagumpisa ito sa tawag ng Chief Prosecutor, hindi ba? Yes, Your Honor. Si sa Congressman Tupas. Tumawag yes, sa'yo sa telepono, di ba? Yes, Your Honor. At sinabi niya, pwede bang tingnan ninyo ang mga uh, lupain o mga uh, uh, real estate property na ni uh, kagalang-galang na mataas na hukom ng uh, Pilipinas, Renato Corona at ang kanyang may bahay. Di ba? At ng mga iba pang uh, kamag-anak niya. Yung mga sinabi sa'yo? Yes, Your Honor. Ngayon, noong tinawagan ka ni uh, Congressman Tupas, ay eh, nakasalang na dito sa Senado yung Articles of Impeachment, di ba? Yes, Your Honor. Alam mo yun? Yes, Your Honor. So, alam mo rin na siya ay head ng prosecution panel sa impeachment yes. article. So, yung articles of impeachment na isinampa ng House of Representatives sa Senado. Yes, sir. Contra kay Chief Justice. So, alam mo na yung tawag niya ay humihingi ng ebidensya para tungkol sa mga ari-arian ng nakasakdal na magistrado ng Pilipinas. Di ba? Yes, Your Honor. Information Ngayon. relative to the property, Your Honor. Yun. Yes, so, Your alam mo yun? Yes, Your Honor. Ito ba ay verbal lang? Yes, Your Honor. Hindi sumulat sa'yo? At that time, hindi po. At, that, at the time of the call? Yes, Your Honor. Kailan yung call na yun? Uh, prior to January 10, Your Honor. Ha? Huh? Uh, prior to January 10, Your Honor. Because January 10, we transmitted the, the documents, Your Honor. 
Sabi mo prior to January 10. January 10. Yes, sir. Between the uh, between the time they they uh, filed the articles of impeachment after and January 10 ang tawag it's it was January your honor huh? it was around January 7 or 8 your honor oh January 7 or 8 yes sir ang okay. yun so makatwid alam mo na ang hiling ni congressman Tupas ay upang kumu- kuma- kumuha ng ebidensya tungkol sa lupain o real estate na ari-arian ni uh, kagalang-galang na kat- at katastasan hukum na, Pil- na Pilipinas Renato C. Corona. At all, Your Honor, sa kanyang mga. At yung mga iba pang... At yung mga iba pa. Yes, Your Honor. Ha, na uh, malapit sa kanya o kamag-anak niya. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Ngayon, ang tanong ko, yon ang maliwanag yon ha? Maliwanag. Ngayon, alam mo ba na uh, si Chief Justice ay taga Batangas? Yes, Your Honor. Alam mo yon Bilang yes, abogado, alam mo uh, na ang nakasakdal sa amin dito sa Senado ay taga Batangas. Yes, Your Honor. Hindi ba ang logical starting point ng inyong pagsusori kung meron siyang mga lupain o real estate property ay doon sa kanyang probinsya, sa bayan niya. It didn't Ta- appear that way. Taga siya. Alam mo ba yon? Mm, hindi po. Hindi mo alam. Taga, pero alam mo ang probinsya niya. Yes, sir. Ngayon, bakit hindi mo inumpisa ng search doon sa Batangas? Hindi pa computerized doon, Your Honor. Kahit na. Hindi ba, ikaw ba ay ngayon lang naging, reg- hindi ka ba naging register of deeds? Uh, Your Honor, to be... No, no, tinatanong ko I- Hindi pa po, hindi po. Hindi. Yes, uh, hindi, hindi. Hindi, wala kang experience sa uh, tungkol sa mga kaso ng lupa. Meron po. Meron. So, alam mo na sa bawat probinsya may register of deeds at may libro yan. Yes, Your Honor. At uh, nandun ang listahan ng mga titulo. Di ba? Yes, Your Honor. Nahawak nung register of deeds mo sa bawat probinsya at bawat lungsod sa Pilipinas. Yes, Di ba? Yes, Your Honor. Ngayon, at yun, titingnan mo lang alphabetical yun eh. Di ba? Yes, Your Honor. Oh, eh bakit hindi mo inumpisahan sa Batangas? Uh, inumpisahan ko po sa mga areas na malapit na computerized, Your Honor. Na bakit nga? para mas madali po sana makakuha ng, ng information yun. Eh, eh kung may lupa siya sa Batangas, hindi mo napasama dito sa search mo. Alam mo ba na may, may lupa siya, wala siyang lupa sa Batangas? Pinatanong ko po sa isang... Uh, hindi, eh, pinatanong ko sa iyo kung alam mo. Hindi po, dahil wala hong... Hindi wala mo hong, alam? Sa Batangas, Your Honor. Oo. Oh. Hindi pa ho. Eh bakit nga hindi mo inumpisahan doon? Yun ang logical starting point, hindi eh, ba? Bakit mo pinili ang Metro Manila? Isiniro e, mo yung search mo sa Metro Manila. Yung ba ay sarili mong desisyon o may nag-utos sa'yo? Pinatakbo ko yung um, te- ah? technical team po. Inutusan ko sila na i fan out po sa mga malalapit na register of sa Metro Manila para ho ma-search po yung properties. Dahil nga malapit po sa mo na, Central. Alam na mayroon siyang condominium dito sa Metro Manila. Yes, Your Honor. Sa Bellagio property, Your Honor. Ba, yung Bellagio? Yes, Your Honor. Kaya dito mo inumpisaan ng search. Yes, Your Honor. Eh bakit hindi mo itun- itinuloy sa Batangas? Sorry, dahil alam mo na humihingi ng tulong sa iyo yung prosecution kaya tinawagan ka upang malaman kung may ari-arian ang nakasakdal sa impeachment case na ito na hindi niya isinama sa kanyang salen di ba yes sir oh eh bakit 
Meron akong inutusan doon ang nireporto sa, sa amin. Inutusan? Sa Batangas po. Sa inutusan saan? Sa opisina ko po, kung tanungin. Kasi hindi pa ako computerized doon. So there is no Kaya way Kaya may inutusan ka sa Batangas. Yes, Your Honor. Isang RD namin doon. Ang sabi sa amin po, eh, on the record, wala po. Doon sa isang lugar. Wala wala sa register of deeds sa Batangas? Sa Santo Tomas ata, Your Honor. Tanawan. Ha? Tanawan, Santo Tomas, Your Honor. Eh, eh, bakit hindi sa Kapitolyo? Sa probi- Nandun ang register of deeds eh. Ng yes, probinsya. Sir. Register of deeds ng lungsod ng Tanawan, nandun sa Tanawan. Register of deeds ng lungsod ng Bata- sa Batangas City, nandun sa Batangas City. Bakit hindi mo pinapuntaan yun? Kung sa Lipa, nandun sa Lipa. Kung sa tres, sa... Ano pa ba ang mga siyudad sa Batangas? Yun lang. Malbar. Yung mga ibang siyudad doon. Bakit hindi mo pinasearch doon? Yun, yun lang ang gusto kong maliwanagan sa kaisipan ko. Eh. Bakit dito ka nag sa Maynila, hindi doon sa kanyang probinsya? No, probably... Probably, Your Honor, because uh, it's, a, it's a convenience, Your Honor, of uh, generating title search to the computer, Your Honor. Ay, gusto mo madalian na magkaroon ng ebidensya kontra na... sa nakasakdal, ganun ba? Actually, yung mga dokumentong unang inirelease namin, eh nasa opisina ko na po. Kasi po, even before that, humihingi na po ang mga kaibigan natin sa media, pero hindi ho natin nirelease. Kaya hindi nung, nga, yes. eh, hindi, hindi yan ang issue, tinatanong ko sa iyo kung na, nasa iyo na yung mga dokumento. Yes, Your Honor. Yung, uh, yung uh, ginawa mo na search, bakit hindi ka nagumpisa doon sa logical point of starting the search, yung probinsya noong nakasakdal na opisyal ng gobyerno? Maybe... I should have done it. I should have done it, Your Honor. It never occurred to you, no? Yes, Your Honor. At uh, inumpisa mo sa Maynila sapagkat uh, siguro sinabi eh, nagmamadali kami na kailangan namin ng ebidensya. Ganun ba? Hindi naman po. Ha? Available na po yung mga uh, available na po yung mga ebidensya na yun, yung mga titulo po. They were available, available when they Available na nung tinawagan ka ni... Yes, Your Honor. Tinawagan ka ni Congressman Tupas? Yes, Your Honor. Eh, paano, paano mo... Bakit available? May... Na, wala naman sa request sa iyo. Available na ka sa iyong kamay. Yes, Your Honor. Because ang mga media po ay humihingi na noon pa. So when I... When they requested... Ah, teka muna. Yes, Your Honor. Nag-search ka na nung hinihingi sa iyo ng media? Ganun yes, Your Honor. Ba? Bakit? Well, I thought that uh, it would be a best preparation, Your Honor, because they are asking. So I, I had the registers Alam of deeds. Alam mo, search. kompanyero, medyo malabo itong istorya natin eh. Kaya uh, hindi ka panipaniwala na nasa yung kamay, yung ebidensya na hinihingi ni Atty. Tupas, Congressman Tupas, na hindi pa naman humihingi sa iyo ng ayuda o tulong. Kaya yun ang dahilan kung bakit nagtataka yung mga kasama kung mga hukom dito, mga senador, sa yung testimonya sa amin. Kaya ipaliwanag mo lamang para sa ganoon, maklaro yan. Yes, sir. Dahil may kaugnayan dyan, yan sa kredibilidad ng iyo, iyong deklarasyon dito. Yes, sir. Hindi ka paniniwalaan eh. Pag yes, ganyan. Oh, Previous to the request. Yo, yo, the yes, floor sir. is yours. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. President. A half a second interjection with the permission of the presiding officer, Senator Marcos. Kasi po kanina po sa katanungan ko po, sabi po ng ating testigo, tatlong araw niya trinabaho. Ang sagot po ko, Senate President, ready na po sa kanyang kamay ang mga dokumento. Kaya nga lang po, Ibalan yung kanyang sagot. Mr. President, he answered me that it took him two to three days to come up with a document, a two-page document, uh, using the search engine. Now he tells you that um, the documents were readily available because the media were asking for it. So it just causes more perplexity and confusion. That's all. Thank you for that, uh, uh, Senator Lawrence. Um, 
Sangayon na ako, kaya sangayon na ako sa pananaw ng at aming uh, Senate President na uh, Attorney Diaz, medyo malabo yung storya natin. Uh, kaya tatanong ko na, last, eh, siguro dalawang tanong na lang. Um, hindi kaya sa nung, nung paghanda nitong listahan na ito, eh, may nakabulong sa'yo. Hindi, na, dami, dami, hindi pa ako tapos. Eh, pa, pa, uh, <laughs> may man ang nakabulong sa'yo na hindi bale, mas malaki yung listahan, mas maganda yung pang... Uh, pang PR kaya pahaba, mas mahabang listahan mas maganda so uh, basta tabaan mo para mas uh, mas magamit ng uh, ewan ko mas magamit ng kunsino para pagandahin yung kaso kontra kay uh, Chief Justice at least in the at least in the pre, at least in the press hindi po wala hindi naman po. never po hindi mo naman naisip dahil kay kaibigan mo ng mga tiga administrasyon ay ikaw kasama ka sa executive ay hindi mo kaya hindi naisip para tulungan ko kasi yun ang ninanais ng ating uh, ng administrasyon eh yun ang ninanais tulungan ko kaya habaan ko yung listahan para mas magandang uh, mas maganda para sa sa kaso kontra kay Chief Justice na napakaraming ibabanggit na, na mga lupain hindi, hindi mo naisip yun well okay in that case if that is your testimony here that is all Mr. Witness that is all Mr. President thank you Mr. Floor Leader Uh, Senator Pia Caetano, um, finally. Uh, the gentle lady from Tegin. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, um, earlier you were asked by Senator Miriam, why did you not go over the names that appeared after you made your general search? No? Um, ang sinagot niyo po ay, you do not want to be accused of bias. Tama ho ba yun? That's yes, what you said, no? Yes, Tama ho. Bakit niyo naisip na ma-accuse kayo ng bias? Did you have any discussion? Did you offer to sift through that and to to provide details pero or with your staff? Did it did that come up na baka naman pag nilinis ko to eh sabihin eh tumutulong ako sa defense? Why would you think that you would be accused of bias? Because I will be deciding what documents to include from what not to include your own. Mr. Witness, hindi ba ang search na hinihingi sa inyo is with respect, again, I will read your letter, information relative to real estate properties registered in the name of Renato Corona et al. Actually, hindi ko talaga alam kung ano yung et al doon. Baka nga may Pia Cayetano dyan. Kasi I don't have the letter of Congressman Tupa. So et al, I don't know who et al is, but I'm assuming that that is the wife and the children. May ganun kayong testimony yesterday, no? Tama ho ba? And, and the name checks your honor. Of Renato Corona. And uh, the Corona, the show, uh, what, and the other, the other... Uh, Castillo and Del Castillo. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Yes. So, Mr. Witness, it was your judgment call that any person with the name of Corona, any person na may Castillo, kahit na Del Castillo, married to another person, should be included in that list. And you did not think that instead of bias, you might be accused of gross negligence. I, I consider this, Your Honor, as a trans transmittal letter of materials that should be used, Your Honor. And how they will use it, I leave it up to them, Mr. Your Honor. Mr. Vitas, I am not asking you if you know or if you thought of how they will use it. I am asking you, if as the head of an agency, it does not occur to you that your job requires yung prudence na ginagamit nyo, yung care, yung diligence, is that naaayo naman dun sa request na binigay sa inyo. Paano naman ho naging kamag-anak ni Del Castillo married to another person? Yung Castillo na son-in-law ni Chief Justice. Name search, Your Honor. General name search lang yun. Mr. Witness, I submit, kahit high school, kahit grade 7, they will be able to distinguish that. And I am not even asking you to put any statements there that would go beyond your natural call of duty. Yung, yung qualification lang. I, I am as frustrated as my colleagues because you refuse to acknowledge, you refuse to see the effect of your statement. I will show you what is the effect of your refusal to exercise diligence in conducting that search. The result of that is that ABS-CBN, TV Patrol, Inquirer.net, and Radio Inquirer, and naiwan ko yung iPad ko doon, pero meron akong um, 
video copy ng, I think it was an ABS uh, news report, all state here show this document that was produced by your office. And I will put on record, impeachment panel spokesman Miro Kimbo said that based on the records from the Land Registration Authority, Corona and his family have 45 properties, houses and condo units. This is the effect of your search, which you refused to even qualify in any way just because you do not want to be accused of bias. Ito po yung result nun. Further, Kimbo says that in a, let, in a letter to Iloilo Representative Nil Tupas, I really do not want to comment on the merits, but there are already the certificate of titles and condominium certificates referring again to the 45 properties. That is the effect, Mr. President. Mr. President, I, I point this out again because this goes, this goes down in our journal. This is how future impeachment cases will be will be conducted. May I ask Mr. President um, to the witness who after you produced this letter, well I suppose this letter was sent to the office of Congressman Tupas or it was picked up from your office? I think it was uh, delivered, Your Honor. Delivered? By, uh, by my staff, Your Honor. To whom? Do would you know? To the office of uh, Congressman Tupas, Your Honor. And to the uh, to the um, to the um, uh, spokespersons also, because I have to also put on re record many times mm -hmm. the prosecutors who are present themselves in court hide behind the the cloak of the they, they differentiate themselves from the statements being made by the 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 um, spokesperson, and I for one consider them one and the same. But the truth of the matter is, the record showed that the spokesperson used the document that came from you. And that is why I, I would like to see that you acknowledge the effect of the statements you made. Because the statements you made here in court, the, the, the two opposing panels had easily, it appears to me, easily agreed that from 45, it is down to more than a half. More than a half of the documents you certified were thrown out. You could have easily done that. Now let me move to another point. In response to Senator Marcos' query, kung, kung ginagamit nyo pa ho yung computer, ang sagot nyo, you've disabled it because wala pa hong rules. And um, when you were asked what are these rules, you said that the rules would require some degree of responsibility from the requester para hindi maabuso. Something to that effect. Yes, Your Honor. What about the responsibility of the issuer? Don't you think the rules should also govern the issuing agency? Yes, it should, Your Honor. Well, then... I think you should you can now start implementing that because from your testimony it does not seem to appear that you acknowledge that there is some sense of responsibility that must come from your office with respect to issuing yes, sir. these certifications. That's, that is why we're coming up with the rules, Your Honor. That is not what you told Senator Marcos. You simply told Senator Marcos yung mga nagre request. Ang gusto rin niyang mailicit sa inyo is that meron din basihan yung pinag yung bakit din kayo naglalabas. Yes, Your Honor. And I think this is my final question. Um, Mr. President, you also the witness also um, stated that the letter was um, the letter is a result of a request and the letter is in fact dated January 10. So alam natin that impeachment had commenced, no? Um, so when this document was released in January 10, um, as far as you know, this was the only time that the prosecution became aware of these properties. I wouldn't know, Your Honor. You wouldn't know. Yes, May I just ask, um, prosecution, would this be the first time that the prosecution has had become aware of the supposedly 45 properties, which we now which is now stipulated The whole 45, that was the only time. But before that, Your Honor, we, only, we already have uh, some documents with respect to the other properties. In January 3, uh, we released the Bilagio, uh, the Bilagio uh, TCTs and other documents. And at the time that the document, at least the, 40, the 45 properties were released, the document, we already have uh, in our possession some uh, documents with respect to the other properties, condominiums, land. With the permission land. of uh, the ladies uh, center from Taguig, may I ask this from uh, 
uh, the chief uh, prosecution uh, counsel, when you made the call to the uh, to attorney Diaz, according to him, uh, you made the call. Mm -hmm. Did you specify to him <coughs> the area where the search ought to be made regarding real estate property of the respondent, Chief Justice Corona and his wife? I did not, uh, Your Honor. My, my, I, our presumption is it's the entire country. The entire country. Yes, that was the that was uh, what uh, I was thinking when I uh, when I made re made that request. And uh, you did not specify that it was limited to Metro Manila. We did not, uh, Your Honor. Yeah. But uh, when he submitted his listing, you did not ask him to conduct further search out in the provinces, especially in his home province of Batangas. No more, uh, Your Honor, because uh, as I said, our presumption is that it's a you central system. You were satisfied already with the quantum of uh, alleged titles of uh, real estate found to be the property of the respondent Chief Justice? Uh, with respect to the... I, can, I, I cannot answer that, Your Honor, uh, but... Uh, my presumption is that it's already a nationwide search because that uh, was enough for uh, for the prosecution. At the time, that was enough, Your Honor. You were no longer interested if, indeed, he has amassed other properties located in this province of Batangas. Uh, we are we are, we were still interested, Your Honor, because uh, on subsequent to that. And it was testified on already by the witness. The prosecution wrote a wrote a letter, and uh, this was uh, signed by uh, two members of the prosecution team. But uh, what was the result of that request of the other members of the prosecution? Did they pursue that request after the, you got the number of forty-five? alleged real property of the respondent in Metro Manila? Well, this, this is the letter uh, dated 12 January 2012, Your Honor. And uh, the prosecution here signed by two members of the panel was just asking for uh, certified true copies. So... Uh, of titles? Only titles, and uh, there was no follow-up on the nationwide search. And did they state where the search ought to be made? No. No, no Your Honor. They did not say that it's confined to Metro Manila? No, they did not. We did not. And uh, when you received the, the information, the list from the LRA covering alleged 45 titles, you were satisfied already that that was enough. Although you wanted to pin down the respondent with respect to assets not included in this sal N. At that time, you were satisfied, Your Honor. At that time, and how, yes. about, how about now? Now we are, are you now that we know now that we know that it's not uh, it's not nationwide it's just uh, confined to Metro Manila. Then uh, you want to, to put it to put it bluntly we, we we're do not you, satisfied. Do you want to search further? <laughs> it's too late. We're about to. I know we know we know that. You have close your evidence. We know that yes. we have already rested our our case. Yes. Anyway, do they, they have any further question from this witness? Mr. President, I'm, I would like to finish my uh, questions. Yes, uh, please. I'm sorry okay. to interrupt. No, nope, it, it is, it is uh, okay, Mr. President. Um, so, Mr. Witness, it appears now that you could also be accused of bias by the prosecution that you limited your search to Metro Manila. 
when in fact there may be have there may be other properties elsewhere. Is that not correct? It it may they may you know. That's what I'm saying, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, I am clear I am simply trying to drive home my point that when you indicate the parameters of your search, such as the area of your search, if there are any timelines, if there are any names that you specifically punched in, you are not biased, you are simply diligent. And that is what you are expected to be. Yes, Your Honor. I just wanted to be sure that my statement was noted. Um, final final um, question is, um, um, as a follow-up to the, the response of uh, prosecution, so when the, the letter of um, LRA administrator was received on January 10, indicating the 45 properties, the prosecution, and for that matter, the uh, congressman who, the congressman and congresswoman who filed the impeachment complaint, were not aware of these of these um, properties. And I will assume that the awareness. My my, my uh, statement is directed to the prosecution. Um, they, the prosecution and the congressman who signed the impeachment were not aware of these properties, and the information they had was simply as indicated in the complaint and my complaint is on the table but I looked at it before I stood up and it says suspected of having certain properties and then there was a property identified in Taguig. Nothing in any, you know, by, by any imagination uh, at the magnitude of the 45 properties indicated here. On January 10, when we received that uh, letter, uh, we're not aware of all the properties listed including the canceled properties, but we already have in our possession uh, most of the properties that we introduced as evidence and admitted by this honorable tribunal, uh, meaning the condominiums, uh, the, the two, the two uh, properties sold in 2010. We already had uh, documents uh, in our possession on January 10. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, session suspended for one minute. I will be able. just one minute. Okay, pasapatala muna ang suspendido ang paglilitis. Tuloy-tuloy naman ang balitaan dito sa GMA News TV. At ang News TV Live, ihahatid sa inyo ni Trisha Zafra. Trisha! Salamat Arnold at Vicky. Mahigit isang libo at siyam na raang bar passers ang nanumpa bilang mga bagong abogado sa Philippine International Convention Center o PICC sa Pasay City. Dumalo sa okasyon si na Chief Justice Renato Corona at labintatlong mahistrado. Naroon din si Mrs. Cristina Corona, pero hindi nakadalaw sa Supreme Court Associate Justice Mariano del Castillo sa oath-taking dahil may sakit ito. Sa kanyang speech, hinikayat ni Associate Justice Arturo Brion ang mga bagong abogado na labanan ng anumang uri ng panggigipit. Ginawa niyang halimbawa ang mga nararanasang pagsubok na sa ngayon ng punong maestrado. Dapat daw manig ang batas sa lahat ng pagkakataon. Ipinagmalaki rin ni Brion na sa pamamagitan ng mga ipinatupad nilang pagbabago sa 2011 bar examinations, mas maraming estudyante ang nakapasa sa pagsusuli. What we have done is take the first step to change. Ours was merely a bold, nay, a plucky experiment. It is up to those who follow after us to validate the changes we have made. Have we done better than the previous years? Yes, in the sense that more candidates passed this year. <laughs> Samantala, posibleng bumaba sa susunod na linggo ang presyo ng liquefied petroleum gas. Ayon kay LPG Marketers Association Representative Arnel T, matatapyasan ang presyo ng LPG ng piso kada kilo o labing isang piso bawat tangke. Papasok na raw kasi ang summer sa mga bansang may winter, kaya mababawasan na ang kanilang fuel requirements. Dagdag paniti, sa Abril ay muli umano itong bababa ng 6 na piso bawat kilo at posible pa raw magtuloy-tuloy hanggang Agosto. Sa kasalukuyan ay naglalaro sa 775 pesos ang presyo ng bawat 11 kilogram LPG tank ng independent players. May git 800 pesos naman ang halaga ng bawat tangke ng Big 3 oil players. Lumutang naman para maglabas ng video ang grupong Juana Change Movement kung saan binabatikos nila si na Chief Justice Renato Corona, Senator Judges Miriam Santiago, Joker Arroyo at Bongbong Marcos. 
Pinaalalahanan din ng grupo ang mga Senator Judge na magnilay-nilay ngayong Semana Santa para makagawa ng desisyon na makakabuti sa taong bayan. Hindi raw natatakot ang komedyanteng si May Paner, a.k.a. Juana Change, kung ipatawag daw siya ni Santiago sa impeachment court at ipakontempt. Sinisikap pang kunin ng GMA News ang panig ng kampo ni Chief Justice Renato Corona, maging sina Senador Santiago, Arroyo at Marcos. Sa ibang balita, ransom na 4 na milyong piso ang hinihingi para sa dalawang gurong dinukot noong lunes sa sitio Limon Sudan, Rogongon sa Iligan City. Kinilala ang mga biktima na sina Keno Sanchez, 23 years old, at si Rene Sumagang, 26 years old. Ayon sa ilang residenteng nakasaksi sa pagdukot, inabangan daw ng mga suspect ang dalawang guro habang bumibiyahe sila patungong eskwelahan. Positibo nilang kinilala ang isa sa mga suspect na si alias Commander Ayatola. Tinutugis na ng mga pulis at militar ang mga suspect. Ang palasyo naman, iginiit na dapat sundin ang polisiya ng gobyerno na huwag magbayad ng ransom. At yan po ang iba pang malalaking balita sa oras na ito. Para sa News TV Live, ako si Trisha Zafra. Balik sa inyo, Arnold at Vicky. Maraming salamat, Trisha Zafra. Para tili pong nakatutok dito sa GMA News TV. At magbabalik po ang The Chief Justice on Trial. They are male, but mentally yeah. and everything else, they are female. Yung sinasabi ng nanay ko na, huwag mo nang gawin yan kasi nalasatan ako pag nagdadami pang babae ka. Gusto ko po sa female po ako mag-CR, pero Masigal. nasabi na huwag ka dito, doon ka dapat sa panlalaki. Wala po kayong dapat na i-tolerate kami dahil hindi naman namin po kayo tinutunggit. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng transgender? Miyerkules sa bawal ang pasaway kay Maring Winnie. A crown fit for a queen. Sino ang may kay na tanghaling? Budget babe, beauty queen. Kung wala ang mga high profile na kagaya ko, walang saysay ang contest na ito. Pupunta kayo sa isang grocery para makabuo ng isang beauty queen look. Mali siyang pangganyan. Matatanggalan ng corona yan due to citizenship. Catch the Coronation Night on Fashbook. Miyerkules, 10pm sa News TV. Si Jiggy Manika, iaatid ng live kung nasaan ang balita. Mamaya sa News TV Quick Response Team. Pinagtagpo na ang sarap ng Nisin Noodles at katakam-takam na sabaw ng baka sa bagong Nisin Cup Bulalo. Tambalang mas pinalasa ng beef bulalo at patis mansi. Siguradong mapapaibig ka. Gawa ng Nisin. To prevent pimples after washing with soap, mag-newest canal ka. Best in removing pimple-causing dirt. Now, with Microvan's antibacterial formula, nakayang tanggalin ang bacteria, dirt, and oil. No to pimples, yes to fun. At canal. Owns 45 properties. First, Your Honor, I will not accept that I am in cahoots with the prosecution team, Your Honor. But I cannot also readily accept that it was a mistake because from my point of view, Your Honor, these are documents that they may use for their research, Your Honor. And that was the tenor of my letter to them. What research are you talking about? For the properties, Your Honor. It was never my obligation to to tell them, Your Honor, what exactly are the properties that the, you, you, you want to present As I have said earlier, Your Honor, okay. I, I merely instructed our artists in the nearby cities to give me some, some uh, materials that were being asked by the, by the media people and to which they responded, Your Honor, about two or three days after. But then in the meantime, we realized that it will not be fair for the Chief Justice if I will just release it to the media for media purposes, Your Honor. 
So it was about uh, two days after that they, that they made the request for for me for these documents, and it was already there. So I forwarded it to them, Your Honor. No, so you were one of those who released your letter or the information to the media. Am I, I did not, Your Honor. That so is why I really have it. That is why I have it in right. my office, Your Honor. Going back to your letter to Congressman Tupas, dated January 10, 2012, and I repeat, pursuant to your official request for information relative to the real estate properties regist registered in the name of Renato Corona et al. Please find enclosed here with certified true copies of titles registered in their names as follows, etc., etc. Did you really enclose the certified true copies in your info in the uh, transmitted letter that yes, you uh, provided the uh, prosecution yes, panel? Yes, sir. In the uh, certified true copies of the titles registered under the names of uh, uh, of uh, C. J. Corona and his wife, why did you include those who? those titles that were already cancelled or those titles not in the name of uh, CJ Corona because uh, why did you include it, it it was generated in the computer search on so mali itong uh, unang unang paragraph ng sulat mo kay congressman Tupas kasi nilagay mo rito relative to real estate property registered nakalagay dito registered in the name of Renato Corona et al well in fact hindi naman pala naka-register sa pangalan niya but I understand that that at all, Your Honor, means and others, Your Honor. And others, yes. Yes, Your I Honor. know. And others. Sino yung others? Did they point out to you sino yung others? Sister-in-law, uh, brother, uh, uh, son-in-law, anak? It could Did be they specific, specifically point out that to you? Yes, Your Honor. Or sino pa? And the others that were generated in the computer, Your Honor. That is why I... I did not name it, Your Honor, because some of them may, may be namesakes, and that is covered by that, all Your Honor. Now, uh, Senator Pia Caetano has already articulated. Yes, na itong sulat na ibinigay mo sa prosecution did a lot of damage. Let's just be fair enough. I want to be fair in far as my decision, in far as my judgment on the D-Day. Alright? Bigyan mo natin ang patas na laban. Dahil itong naging sulat mo kay Congressman Tupas na ibinilandra ng uh, spokespersons ng prosecution panel. At sinabi, inilihad na ni Senator Pia Caetano doon sa ABS-CBN, to the inquirer na Chief Justice owns 45 properties without even authenticating or verifying the properties if indeed those were under the names or, uh, under the name of uh, Renato Corona. And I know, kahit hindi mo inamin, ikaw ay nagkamali sa pagbigay ng impormasyon dito sa mga members ng prose prosecution panel sapagkat maliwanag na maliwanag, nag-agree na sila 17... 17 titles out of the 45 were already cancelled and 12 does not belong to the Chief Justice. Ngayon, aminin mo hindi, yun ang aking pananaw, yun ang aking paniniwala, sana po ay respetuhin ninyo. I will respect it. Now, Congressman Tupas, thank you. When you received the letter coming from the LRA, that indeed, Chief Justice owned 45 properties. And then, I don't know, I think it was you or the members of your uh, uh, media panel who exposed to the media, before the media, that ito, uh, we have 45 properties. Maraming properties of ang, uh, ang uh, pagmamayari ni Chief Justice yeah. Corona. Did you not verify it, uh, Congressman Tupas? Or if you indeed verify verify these uh, titles why didn't you correct or rectify rectify it before the media why did you why did you make it appear that uh, the respondent owned various properties here in metro manila after we uh, received uh, the letter dated january 10 2012 what we did was uh, we filed a request for the issuance of subpoena on uh, January 12, 2012, two days after. 
we attach it. The the press conference uh, I, uh, I inquired happened after the filing of uh, the request for issuance of subpoena with the attached uh, letter containing the 45 uh, properties. <coughs> Yun po yung, uh, yun po yung nangyari, uh, ginong uh, Pangulo. Now, may I tell you that uh, to advise your spokesperson, to rectify the error, to uh, uh, para bawiin yung sinabi sa media na indeed, hindi 45 yung, uh, yung ari-arian ni uh, Chief Justice Corona because I think the damage has already been done. It is already instilled in the minds of the public, the minds of the people, or even in the minds of the court. That that Corona owns uh, 45 properties. Well, in fact, Hindi 45. I'm showing you a copy of this cancelled transfer certificate of title. Ito, ang laki-laki, oh, cancelled. Mr. Diaz, di mo ba nakita ito? Cancelled. Inilagay mo pa rin sa, sa iyong inf information, sa iyong listahan na binigay sa prosecution. Cancelled na, inilagay mo pa. Ano pa naman? The, with the permission of uh, Senator... Uh, That's all, Mr. President. I just want to clarify this from... Uh, the chief of the uh, prosecution panel. According to the story of Mr. Attorney Diaz, even before you called him, he already <coughs> had the titles of this property in his possession. He anticipated the required research on the property of Chief Justice Corona and his wife. And this reason that he gave was because he was being asked by the media. Now, how the media knew about the tea uh, and why they became interested about the uh, assets, uh, real estate assets of Chief Justice Corona, I do not know. But the fact is, according to the statement of this witness under oath, even before you called him to ask for help to search for titles in the name of uh, lands and real other real estate property in the name of the Chief Justice Corona and Mrs. Corona, he already had these titles. Did you know about that? When the you made the call to him, Mr. No, no, Your Chief, Honor. Uh, prosecutor, counsel. No, Your uh, Honor. No, you did not. No, because uh, if if I may uh, uh, explain, uh, as was uh, stated earlier, we already have the various documents referring to different uh, properties uh, owned have, by allegedly have, owned by the Chief Justice. We have already evidence of some of the properties. Yes, we already have. Yeah at that time, but we wanted to uh, <coughs> confirm if there are, uh, number one, confirm, and number two, we wanted to know whether there are other properties. You have properties. already the title, the, your evidence on the Bellagio property. Yes, we already have Colum Bellagio. property. Yes. And McKinley. McKinley property. And the Spanish Bay uh, And you power. wanted to find out if there were additional property. That's correct, Your Honor. But the fact is, according to the witness, under he stated under oath that even before you asked his assistance, he already went used his initiative to make a search and he had already the titles of these forty five alleged assets in the name of the Coronas. Okay? So Senator Jingoy, you can your, continue. Your Honor Your Honor, please. Yes? Your Honor, please, can I just make some corrections that I did not do that on my initiative, Your Honor, because previously the media people were already asking, Your Honor. Precisely, yes, I sir. said that your reason was that the media yes, were Honor. looking, were asking you, and you made the search. Yes, Your Honor, I yeah. submit, Your Honor. Yeah, that's what I said. I, I did not, yes, I, I explained that. Okay. Senator, Mr. President, uh, uh, may we recognize Senator Ralph Recto? Uh, Senator Rector. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Majority Leader. Just very briefly, um, I would like to ask my questions.
to the prosecution and to the defense counsel if, uh, if possible. No? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as I get it right earlier, based on your uh, testimony, or rather the defense, uh, what you said earlier, from 45, we are talking now of 21 properties. Is that correct? That's Co correct, Your Honor. for the defense. Uh, yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In right. other words, the original number is 45. It is it, down, it, now it, down to 21. Even per admission by the prosecution, Correct, Your Honor. correct. Now, just to uh, be a little more specific, specific about it, no? Those 21 properties, ilang ba yung parking lot ang pinag-uusapan natin? Tatlo po. Only three. three. Only three. So assuming we take that out from 21, that's down to 18. That's correct. Okay, now. Yung kay Vicente, yung Marikina, ilan po yun? Seven, seven parcels, you're right. Seven. That's correct. So from 18 minus seven, you're down to 11. Is that correct? Right, Your Honor. Yes, Your it's Honor. It's a mat okay. matter of mathematical computation. Okay. <clears throat> now, these 11 are all in the name of the Chief Justice and his wife? Not in the name of the Chief Justice, but in the name of the seller, uh, Maria, no, Christina. Uh, you're referring to the seven parcels, Your Honor? No, no, I'm, I'm referring to the last 11. So, from 21, no, 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 no. <coughs> there are... Three parking lots. If I remember correctly, so we're down to eighteen. I think there are mm. five parking lots. Two so for the mm. Burgundy, diba? Hindi na po because ang Burgundy is already included in the the condominium title. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. Andale, ulit lang natin. From twenty-one, so we're talking about three parking lots in the twenty-one. So now we're down to eighteen. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, the Marikina property. Uh, which Vicente claims is his and not that of the Chief Justice. Ilan yon? Seven. Eighteen, you're down to eleven. Okay? Of the eleven, from what I recall, two are in the name of his children. Above eighteen years old, which should not be in the Sal Ed. Uh, no, Your Honor. There are uh, four uh -huh. properties. In the name of the children. In the name of the children, Your Honor. And they're all above 18 years old? Uh, yes, Your Honor, but oh. our claim, Your Honor, is that... Uh, it is a simulated sale. Simulated sale. And that yeah, that has to be proven, that point of that part of it. Pero maliwanag, if your children are below 18, then you include it in your sal N. But in this case, they're above 18 years old. So, from 11, 4, you're down to 7. Is that correct? Uh, with the defense as well? Is that number correct? From 9... From 11 minus 4, you're down to 7. Hmm. Correct, Your Honor. Mathematically, oh. yes. Mathematically. The Chief Justice has 5. So there's a discrepancy of 2. Which 2? 11 minus 2. Lang. Ano oh. 9 minus... Uh, your Honor, if I may clarify, Your Honor. Yes, please. please. Out of these uh, 2... Uh, properties, Your Honor. Mm. One property which has not been declared uh, all throughout, Your Honor, yes. is uh, one of the Sevier Bill lots, Your Honor. Ito yung katabi. Yes, Your Honor. That is the lot 6A, correct, Your Honor, correct. acquired in 1993. Okay. And that, the title of that, mm. Your Honor. Kaya ang bilang ko ay anim lang ang pinag-uusapan eh. Five in the sal end of 2010. And one, as you claim, that is not declared, na katabi. Yes, Your Honor. And in, and in the Sal end, all throughout, uh, Your Honor, what mm. was declared was the lot that was donated in 1971. Correct. Very Correct. Uh, consistent, Your Honor, from Correct. 1992 to Correct. 2010, that lot was declared as a donated lot in 1971. I understand. But, uh, and I'm with, you, I'm, I'm with you on this. Thank you, Your Honor. But the point now is, from 45, sabilang ko, based on our discussion here also, is anim. I mean, assuming... Hindi kailang ilagay ni Chief Justice sa pangalan niya yung apat, then sa pangalan ng anak niya, above 18 years old. That's one. Uh, uh, two, the parking lots. Assuming lang. Three, the seven Vicente lots. Which was testified on here. Napunta na media, 
Nakita yung libo-libong bonsai. He seemed to be a credible witness. So there is one other property that has not been declared in the sale end. Now, could they have a listing of this? So you have the five in the sale end and that other La Vista lot, six. Is there any other, Mr. Prosecutor? Out of the 21, Your Honor, there are none. In so far as the year 2010, Your Honor. Correct. Because the position of the prosecution, Your Honor, Correct. is this has to be considered on a year-to-year -year basis, Your Honor. I understand. So year-end, Your Honor. So in so far as 2010 is concerned, that is correct. Uh, only uh, one property, Your Honor, was not declared in okay. 2010. But in so far as yeah. other years are concerned, there are, in 2004, the columns was not uh, declared. In 2005... Bonifacio Ridge was not declared yes. and subsequently. May, may you so. submit that uh, mo, that uh, memorandum to the to the impeachment court as well. Thank you very we, much. We will, uh, yeah. All right, majority floor leader. There are no other questions. Or there are no more questions for the um, witness, Mr. President. We may discharge the witness. The witness is discharged. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney Diaz. Thank you very much. Mr. President. <laughs> We are informed that the defense uh, will be presenting more uh, witnesses tomorrow. So uh, with, in, uh, with that, we would like to ask the Sergeant at Arms to make an announcement. Please all rise. All persons are commanded to remain in their places until the Senate President and the Senators have left their session hall. Mr. President, there being no other business for the day, I move that we adjourn until 2 o'clock in the afternoon of Thursday, March 22, 2012. Is there, no, is there any objection? There being none, the trial is hereby adjourned until 2 o'clock of Thursday, tomorrow, March 22, 2012. Makagaling tapos ngayon, ah. Din... Sa kabila po na may parang nagisa itong si Atty. Diaz, eh hindi pa naman siya sobrang napahiya kasi may natira pang labing anim naman na galing din sa kanila, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> di ba? Kahit na sabihin na natin na yung apat na putlima ay medyo na napahiya yung prosecution nung umpisa, pero sa gitna ng impeachment uh, trial, Na-correct na ho nila ito. Hindi naman nila in oh, din lahat, di ba? 16 o 11 o 9, hindi natin kailangan ko pag-aralan ng mabuti kung ilan nilang talaga. Pero ko, Actually, konti na lang. Uh, no, yung, ano, 45 minus 17, 15. tapos 12, may reservation sa apat. Oh. Ayun. So parang, actually nagbo-boil down lang ito ng ilang properties na uh -huh. hindi na-disclose. So 16, uh -huh. lima lang yung pinaninindigan ng depensa. So, Mamayin suma 16, may labing isa pang labing ila, dapat oh, ipaliwanag pa rin. Kailangan pag-usapan. Uh -huh. Kailangan... Uh, papatunayan. Pero sa totoo lang, napaka-interesante yung mga revelations na mabas dun sa Oo, oh, oh. Paano kinuha ito? No? Um, sa tingin ko, politically, kung ma-acquit ito si uh, Chief Justice Corona, politically, babalik tayo sa araw na sinabi ni Representative Tupas na Ay, nagkamali pala, hindi pala 45, kundi 21. Okay. Ah, so kung doon ginawa yung, yung survey. Yung napambol. Kung doon ginawa ibang, yung survey, iba. Mismo yung driver ko, sinabi niya, nung na narinig niya, sabi niya, kasi medyo, sabi niya, oh. pro, oh, pro, okay. ano yan, pro conviction, sabi niya, ay, gawa-gawa lang pala. Ah, diba? Yung malaking, oh. malaking ano yan, eh. Pagkakaiba, o. Oh. Na yung hindi mo ginawa yung, yung tinatawag natin na, ano, no, na, um, uh, due diligence sa, uh, sa pagano ng 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 ganito classing facts kasi napaka yun yung pinapalabas ng mga senador na okay. bakit mo ginawa ito hindi ni review mm -hmm. di ba para uh, minadali din hindi hindi walang excellent walang excellent sa trabaho na yun so tawag ko diyan incomplete work product eh yung mm -hmm. hindi pa talaga di ba for fast lawyers importante yung term na yun eh hindi mo ilalabas yun kung hindi mo pa tapos yung trabaho di ba oo uh -oh. uh, na napaka prejudicial dun sa sa isang tao na sa isang sa isang um, isang pamilya. Uh -uh. Yung isang napaka-interesanting na generate ngayon na hindi pala sinahanap yung ibang mga properties sa ni Corona sa Batangas <laughs> sa Sabang. No? Pwede pa pang diba? maghanap ngayon Wala kung na, may makita hindi na, na, tapos hindi na, na pwede. Sila, eh. Wala na pwede. So, yun. napaka-interesante. No? Ano kayang, bakit kayo hiniginawa ng prosecution uh -huh. yun, di ba? So, ang sinasabi Very basic niyo, lang. Bakit sila nagtigil sa Metro Manila, no? Yes. Um, ang sinasabi nyo, kung ngayong ginawa yung survey na lumabas na hindi pala 45, 21 mm -hmm. na lang, uh, 
medyo mababawasan yung 47% na naniniwalang guilty si Chief Justice. Well, ito naman, ito lang sinabi ko, from 8 grounds to 1 ground, but 1 is enough. Ganyan ito din. From 45, yung sabi nga kanina, to 21, to maaring 11, to maaring... In the end, isa na lang. Okay. But that could still be you know, oh, a basis, oh. di ba? Kung hindi pa rin na-deklara. Uh, kung hindi na-deklara ng, ng mabuti ngayon. Oh. Uh -huh. Pero ganito, no? kung isa lang, halimbawa, di ba kung mm -hmm. ngayon na narrow down na natin na uh, 11, di ba? 11. Mm -hmm. 11. Kung sabihin mo sa 11 na yan, ang walo may explanation ng mabuti, di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, dalawa, tatlo. Ang tanong ngayon, kung dapat bang parusahan siya ng removal, Kasi nagkamali siya sa dalawa o tatlong uh, uh, misdeclaration. Okay. Ako sa alam ko kung isa lang, okay lang eh. Uh -oh. Kasi lahat tayo nagkakamali. Di ba? Uh -huh. Sa BIR, sa any kind of form na finifill up natin. At may corrective ano siya sa batas. Isa, diba? dalawa, maaring tatlo. Uh -oh. Pero higit dyan, di ba? Kasi ako ang sinasabi ko, sinasabi ko palagi, ang uh, hinahanap ko sa behavior ni Chief Justice Corona, bearing in mind that this is about fitness, di ba? Uh -huh. Of office. May pattern ba mm -hmm. doon sa kanyang pagtatago, pagtatago mm -hmm. ng, ng assets, di ba? Mm -hmm. Sa tingin ko, kung isa o dalawa lang, hindi na pattern yon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Din isang, isang pinupunto ni ng Senator Santiago, Senator uh, Bongbong Marcos, pati ni Senator Jingoy, parang hindi ba naging fair sa uh, kay Chief Just Corona itong uh, pati yung pwersa ng gobyerno no, dito sa paggamit no, sa itong LRA nakita eh although din, din na na ni Atty. Cruz na in-couch siya sa, mga prosec sa prosecution pero ito ba yung direksyon nito? Tama bang pag uh, uh, tingnan ding mabuti na pag uh, yung full force ng government Ibang proceeding oh. yun. Ibang Kasi proceeding. nakita ni Senator Bongbong parang double standard yata yung LRA dahil may mga sindikato rin ng mm. peking titulo, mm -hmm. di ba? Pero nahihirapang makakuha ng access oh. sa kanila. Uh, ibang proceeding yun. Hindi okay. ko, hindi, ayaw kong hatulan si Atty. Atty. Cruz. Diaz. Oh. Mukhang Ideas, mabait, oh. mabait mm -hmm. naman na tao. No? I mean, mukhang humble naman mm -hmm. na, na na tao. Maaring na corner siya sa isang Bakus ng unfortunate na sitwasyon, di ba? Mm -hmm. Hindi ko alam na nin... Paniwalaan ko lang siya ngayon. I have to grant him good faith na hindi siya inutusan. I mean, mukhang... Walang bumulong. Oh. Yung ano naman, di ba? Mukhang uh, legitimate, legitimate mo naman yung dahilan niya na uh, ayaw niyang maging researcher. Uh -huh. pa, yung, basically, sinasabi yeah. niya, ayaw niyang maging researcher para sa prosecution. Nag-print out lang siya ng ano, Kaya nag-print out lang daw siya. Uh -huh. Okay lang yun. Yeah, actually, we Pero hindi niya ng... dapat sinertify. Uh -huh. Dapat hindi siguro quinalify niya. Not for public. Na, this... Hindi 45 properties, this includes mga tukayo. Sinabi niya dapat mga... hindi ito properties ni Corona. Mm -hmm. okay. Ito lang yung listahan na lumab. Dapat ganun. Pero is tama ba na sinabi niyang Renato Corona et al? Does oh, that hindi. get him Mali off yun. the hook? Hindi, kasi yun naman ang hinahanap, di ba? Kasi Renato et Corona. al, sabi niya, and, and others, that means... Oh, oh that nga, same? pero in the context dito na parang may certification siya na properties mm -hmm. ito na Corona, Ah, talagang gagamitin ng, ng prosecution at ng media okay. para ibandera yung 45 properties. So, kinino ka salaan ito itong paglabas, an accurate paglabas ng 45 properties? Is it the prosecution's fault or is it Diaz's fault? Ah, bab babalik kay Diaz sa prosecution, uh, sa media na yung hindi nag nagdiligent na kasi ini-expect din natin yung media mag-verify, di ba? Mag -mag mm -hmm. ng ganitong ano. Yung nagpapagamit. Diba? Dapat ba so, habulin si Diaz dahil sa uh, violation ng civil code daw, negligence? Nasa kay Chief Justice Corona yun. Uh, kung, gusto niyang, um, kung gusto niyang gawin yun. Kasi siya yung na, na, nasaktan dito, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yung sinasabi ni, ni Senator Miriam na quasi-delic ito, di ba? Ibig sabihin, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you cause a harm in a, to a fellow human being by releasing this, di ba? So malaking kasalanan ba itong pag-release ng 45 properties in your thinking? Kung totoong negligent, mm -hmm. di ba? Uh, kung totoong uh, may, lalo na kung totoong may malis yung paglabas, mm -hmm. yun, ang, yun ang sinasabi ng mga senador na mm -hmm. hindi lang ito negligent kung hindi malisyo ito mm -hmm. dahil sa epekto ng, ng ganitong pag-release, then may kaso. Aha, mm -hmm. Pero nga ang sinasabi ni LRA Administrator Diaz, hindi na saklaw ng trabaho ko, yung uusisain ko pa isa-isa kung kay Renato yun, yun, yun yung na bayan, kanyang, ano, Yun yung kanyang um, uh, excuse, no? Uh -huh. Honestly, naniniwala ako sa kanya pero sa tingin ko mas mabuti para sa kanya na aminin niya in retrospect ng kamali siya. Oho, diba? Yes. And just ask for uh, just apologize, di ba? Mm -hmm. Just just uh, ano, alam alam, 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 alam na lahat ng tao na magka-brad yan sila ni Chief Justice Corona eh, na sa Utopia It's sa Ateneo Law, no? Um, kung di ako nagkakamali nung ginawa niya 'yon, 
si Chief Justice ko na mismo naglabas ng salita na naintindihan ko yung ginagawa niya. Estudyante ko yan, uh, ah, brand ko yan, naintindihan ko yan, pinapatawad ko siya. Okay. Para something like that to that effect ang na, uh-huh. na, 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 narinig ko, na, na nabasa ko, na, Sana ganun din na sinasabi siya. na. So sa tingin ko, mas, kasi sa ganitong proceeding at ganitong uh-huh. mga ganitong posisyon, nagkakamali ka talaga. Uh-huh. So mas mabuti pa, be out in the open, di ba? say you're sorry, mm-hmm. say na nagkamali ka, oh, and move on. Press for mm-hmm. time siya, eh, di ba? Mas accepted yun, eh, no? oh, mas, mas, naintindihan natin yun. Eh. Sa so, tingin oh. ko, mas naintindihan ng tao yun kasi talaga man nagkakamali tayo lahat. Eh. Oversight mm-hmm. sa part niya. Okay. Alright, sige, salamat, maraming salamat. salamat po sa ating nakasamang legal expert kayong hapon, si Dean Antonio Lavinia ng Ateneo School of Government. At dyan po ang pinakasaryong balita kaugnay sa impeachment trial ni Chief Justice Renato Corona. Ako naman, Arnold Glavio. Huwag po kayong bibitiw sa patuloy na pagtutok ng GMA News TV sa paglilitis ng punong maestrado ng Korte Suprema. Ako po si Vicky Morales at ito ang The Chief Justice on Trial. Ang susunod na program